Oh, 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 I will take responsibility myself. Hey, babe, I've warned you. Let's leave this place before the authority will come and pay this man's debt or not. Oh. Please, let's go. Are you concerned to what you say? I will stop facing to you now. Are you mad? What? 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 See, I can't leave this man here. This weekend, if you leave this man here to die. Are you mad? Come, 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 come. Let's go. 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 Let I'm just a good Samaritan. I met him here. It's like he had an accident. I was just trying to render the head. Listen, you're under arrest. If you make any move, I'll cripple you. What is going on here? Ma, it's like he had an accident. I met him like this, so I just... I said, uh, let me just render the head by taking him to the hospital. Before you go, go Inspector, with his help, take him to the car. Let's save a life. Now, give me a helping hand. And yeah. remember, you are under arrest. Let's be far before he dies, eh? Jesus. Hey! What is the meaning of all this? Eh? I warned you, but he wouldn't listen. Now the police have arrested him. What's the meaning of all this? Oh, God. See, let me tell you, eh? As it is now, that young man is not going to come back anytime soon. Many times soon. So, let me, let me give you one candid advice. As it is now, eh? Just go and look for one boyfriend that you that will start dating. You sure don't look for. I am available. So let's start doing this. Wait, no, no, no. Do you know you are very stupid? What's the meaning of that? Oh, so you've been envious and jealous of our relationship. Oh, look at this one, oh. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Now they push sugar for madam, pa into him. Who does that? So see how you did finish. Now you left right center. You know what? You know what? See, 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 see these idiots. See this mugu where are they try to are they try to help Kadia? Ida, Ida. By your permission, I scatter my leg to stand at ease. Easy to come. What about that young man, sir? I would not. Sir, I have him released after obtaining an official statement from him at the headquarters. Sir! And the victim? Sir! He was rushed to the officer's scan unit immediately you left us. Okay. And uh, how was the result? Encouraging, sir. No serious injuries, sir. Minor damages, sir. Okay. That is nice. Permission to fall out, sir. The provost, I want you to delete the sir compliment when you addressed me. Address me with the compliment, ma. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Sorry. Yes, ma. Okay, you may go. All protocol duly observed. As I, Inspector Charles, the Provost General, without the complimentary rank, stand on salute to my senior police chief. Good morning, Ma. Good morning, Mr. Charles. The Provost, 
take charge of the house. I am on my way to the office right now. Copy it. Should I shoot at sight any invader? Arrest and detain. Do not shoot. Did you hear me? Do not shoot. Remember, the law is a respecter of no man. So, do not take it into your own hands, Inspector Charles. Copy it, ma. Good. Open the gate for me. Joy, e? I hope the check-off in the office did not affect you. My sister, I was so scared. That Inspector General looks very tough, strict. Hey! You know, during his swearing-in, he threatened that he could make sure he removed every bad egg and corrupt officer in his regime. So I think he's trying to keep his promise. <laughs> Good for him, oh, but I know you, you will not be affected. You are a good one. You're the one that is always making sure that everything is intact, disciplined. So, people like you will not even be bothered. Mm -mm. I think I should be thanking my father for the legacy he left for us. I think that is what is really leading me, yeah. Your father is a good man. Mm -hmm. Lizzie, I want to say a very big thank you to you. Come on. Everything you've been doing for me without you. Sure, stop acting. What you are you for? Without you, I would have been gone by now. Thank you. Okay. Let me make you a promise. As long as I am in this office, nothing will happen to you. You are covered. I got you. I got your back. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. It's okay, darling. God bless you. What is wrong with you? Don't make me cry. <laughs> You know I love you. Let's go and have something. <laughs> so please clean this place, okay? <laughs> it's for joy. You're okay. Joy of the house. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. So let's go and grab something. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Madam, thank you for saving my life. I would have been a dead man by now. You should be grateful to God, not me, young man. What's your name? My name is Chris. I'm a native of Eluala community. Eluala. The riot and violent community. If people are fighting security men, killing men of the force and other sisters' outfit. But the truth is, not everyone in that community is a criminal. There are specific hoodlums who go about terrorizing the entire community. They are the ones responsible for the crime. How can a community fight a federal troop? I can't survive it. It's not possible. Go ahead, Mr. Chris, and listen. When the soldiers invaded my community, they began to shoot sporadically. They arrested every young youth on sight. Then my father advised me to leave the village that night. Of course, yes. The youth of your community are recalcitrant and troublesome by waging war against security force. I beg your pardon, ma. Not every youth in my community 
got involved, except for a few bad eggs. And a few bad eggs? Are they not living in that community with you? Your people decided to hide them. Therefore, the vengeance must definitely befall every member of that community. Should be told they were. Those bad eggs you mentioned, they are members of your community. Did any indigenous of your community try to report them to police or soldiers? No. None did. When the soldiers attacked my community, they killed my parents, burnt down our house, took away my sister. And since that time, I haven't seen her again. What prompted the shutting of police that led to the accident that almost took your life? Sorry, Ma, how did you... How did you know about the incident? Does it matter how I know about the incident? So when I left the village, I ran to the city. Unfortunately for me, I met and squatted with a man I barely knew. I was surprised to know he is an internet fraudster. And when the police came for a raid, the young man told me to escape for my life. And that was exactly two days after I had arrived. You mean to tell me that you have no hand in both crimes? No. God is my witness. When I tried to escape from the police, I ran to the streets. On crossing the highway, I got knocked down by a car. I was so helpless. And the driver who knocked me down ran away because he thought I was dead. Now that you have been discharged from the hospital, I am completely speechless because I'm confused. I have nowhere to go. I have no one to run to. At this point, I'm totally helpless. Good morning, sir.
you're this bloody civilian. Now, accord me the right compliments I deserve. The right compliments you deserve? I'm sorry, sir. How do I do that, sir? Were you not told by my superior that I am the Provost General without a complimentary rank to match the claim? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> sorry, I wasn't uh, told. My friend will you shut up and do the needful. I'm sorry, sir. Attention! Chest out. That's agility. Now, accord me the rightful compliments I deserve because I noticed you attended the NYS, starting with your name. I, Chris, from a roller community, stand here to say good morning to the Provost General. And Inspector Charles of the police force. Well, sir, you're not a police officer. In Abuela. Are you okay? My friend, add Inspector Charles. Of the police force. Inspector Charles of the police force. Bravo. Good morning to my superior officer. Good morning, the provost. At ease. Have you come across this young man here, Mr. Chris? Yes, ma. He is the young man that was rescued from destruction via his accident. You are right. Henceforth, he will be staying here with us until he is considered fit. I want you to handle him with the spirit of esprit de corps. Am I understood? Yes, ma. Young man. You need to come with me for proper investigation. We need to investigate the cause of your accident and search you properly for any possible exhibit. You have the right to remain silent for anything you say or do will be used against you in the court of law. The provost. Yes, ma. I want you to handle him with kiss gloves. No corporal punishment. Yes. Am I understood? Yes, ma! Good. Open the gate for me. Listen to me. You must respect me in all matters. Oh yes, or I will charge you into prison for culpable offenses. Yes, ranging from disrespect of a constituted authority to abuse of a privileged officer, and that's me. Um, Inspector, will, will you? Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Listen, and listen very carefully. I charge you for defamation of character, or will I say character assassination. This could end you 10 years behind bars, or if the judge is magnanimous enough, 50 years. You wrote it. Uh, Inspector, please, what, what do I address you as? Oh boy, address me as the Provost General. Provost what? General. Thank you. You make mistakes, I'm going to prison. Oh yes. Um, Inspector, in case you find me guilty of any of the offense, I'm sorry I'm not conversant with the legal provisions. Listen, boy. 
Ignorance of the law is not an excuse. Oh, yes. Any day you address me by my rank again, I'll send you to prison. Now run. Sir. Run inside. One, two, one, two. One, two, 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 one, two. Lord is sleeping. I'm sorry, officer of the law. I don't smoke. I've never smoked before. Mr. Chris. Yes, sir. Do you know that I can charge you for deception and forceful information? Sir, what forceful information exactly? I just told you I don't smoke. I've never smoked all my life. And I didn't tell a lie, sir. Mr. Chris, I can see that your family are all bloody liars. I'll charge you to prison. Officer of the law, I don't understand. Why are you involving my family? I said I didn't tell a lie, and now you want to charge me to prison. Please don't send me to prison. I, I, I didn't lie to you. I've never told a lie before. Besides, I, I'm, I'm the only survivor of my family. So why would you be the only survivor of the family? Officer of the law is, is, is a long story, sir. Mr. Chris. Sir. Hold it for me. Sasha, hold it for you. Hold it for me. Okay, sir. Mr. Chris. Sir. Do you know that I can charge you for possession and consumption of hard drugs? Sir? Sir, boy, I didn't take it. What nonsense. What's the meaning of this? Sir, you, I, you, you, you said I should hold it for you and I was holding it. And now you say you want to charge me for possession of hard drugs. How? No regard. No respect. You could not even respect my rank. You dropped my smoke on the floor. But officer of the law, this, this is manipulation now. I will send you to underground prison. Makache. I will send you to underground prison. You are gone. But officer of the law, you can't send me to prison. You asked me to hold the drug for you. And I held it. And now you are, you are accusing me of... Uh... Chris. Idiot. <laughs> You're welcome, Joy. Thank you so much, my darling. Lazy. <laughs> you know, um, these days you no longer find it necessary to call me while coming to my house. <laughs> um, should we say, um, someone wanted to buy cut all the protocols. I needed to break that ritual, you know? <laughs> it's all right. Um, it's your house. You can visit anytime without any protocol. <laughs> the pleasure is all mine, my darling. So how have you been? Yeah, I'm here. I'm fine. You know, baby girl, we need to start going out. You know, go out, shake off some, you know, stress. Let's have our own time. I don't get it. You and who? The two of us. <laughs> Chris, please, be fast, okay? Chris? Mm -hmm. Who is Chris? <laughs> Hello. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you. Who is he? And what happened to his head? Why does he have a bandage on his head? No, oh, joy. Tell me if he's a criminal, let me arrest him right away. Joy, the curious monkey. <laughs> Which of your questions do you want me to answer first? Everything. <laughs> Please, drink up, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you sure you're safe? <laughs> 
Mr. Chris, sir. I will charge you for illegal possession of hard drugs. Point of correction, officer. I don't do hard drugs. Besides, even if you give it to me now or show me one, I won't recognize it. Mr. Chris, if I had taken you a picture holding that Indian hem, do you know that that will serve as an evidence for, against you in the court of law? And it will take you direct to the prison. But I didn't smoke it. Look at this one. If I had taken you a picture, what will you tell the judge? Don't you know it will serve as an evidence against you? Your hand is fair. My hand is black. But sir, you asked me to hold it. Whose hand is in the picture? But you asked me to hold it. But whose hand is in the picture? Me. Thank you. But you asked me to hold it. By now, you are in the prison. Have you seen your life? You think you, you think you're wise? You're a woman. <laughs> Joy, baby. Do you remember what our principal used to tell us? Then in the police college. Which is? That curiosity is the highest weapon that kills the monkey. So, you're trying to refer to me as a monkey? Of course, yes. Because you're being too curious right now, baby. What is wrong with you? <laughs> anyway, that guy is called Chris. Okay. That is the guy I told you about that I rescued from his accident scene the last time. The one you said, without your intervention, he would have been dead. Not just dead. That guy would have been buried in a shallow grave by now, by the sanitation authority. Yes. Why? From what I heard, he is an orphan. A helpless one at that. So bad. You... Yes. You mean he's an orphan? Yes. Oh my goodness. So touching. Oh, please. Please, curious joy. Oh, curious monkey. Can we please forget about this and don't ask me for details, please? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> because I'll... I know you. <laughs> of course, you know. Ask questions. The next thing is, where is he from? How old is he? Where Who is had he? No, 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 I don't know what to say. Honestly, I don't know where to start from. But all I want to say is, thank you. Thank you so much for standing in for me. Thank you so much. Without you, I would have been in one village uh. where there is no light, not sane, no, no network. And with the conspiracy surrounding your transfer. <sighs> By now, they would have pushed you to one dungeon. Like, I'm talking hmm. about network. You might not have anything to eat <laughs> over there. <laughs> I'm just wondering how I would have coped. It's okay. What are friends for? Thank you so much, eh? honestly. Because by now, I would have been in one odd serial village. Hmm. Wasting <laughs> all in the name of promotion. Yeah, well, at least the, the transfer will come with a better promotion, and then the promo will have a friend who has been promoted to another level, another rank. You, yeah. you get it? Yeah, if I go to that village, you won't get to see my face. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, nobody will give you trouble. Right? <laughs> so, come here, my darling. I'm so happy. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. At least every day I'll get to see your face and disturb you. Please sit down. That is me. You can call me that. Let them meet you. Because I don't know what to do. Yes. I told him to report to the commissioner, please. You mean the commissioner? Give me a minute, I'll call you back, okay? Yeah, thank you. Sorry, Ma, you sent for me. Yes, Mr. Chris, what did you do for checkup? I was actually due yesterday, but I was afraid to tell you, so I left a note on your table. You were afraid to tell me to your own detriment? I'm sorry, ma'am, but I... I feel like... I do not want to stress you any further. You have done so well for me. You saved my life and you have given me shelter. I feel like that's enough. Now listen, Mr. Chris. As long as you are still in this same roof with me, you are my responsibility. Have I made myself clear? I'm so sorry, Ma. But I feel like I am enough trouble to you. I do not want to add to your stress. The truth is, I, I don't feel pain anymore. I was actually thinking of removing the, the bandage myself without going to the hospital. Thank you, God, you didn't remove that bandage. I would have had you arrested for attempting suicide. What is wrong with you? Now go in there and get dressed. I am taking you to that clinic myself, right now. Thank you. Hey, what? What should young man with about me. My superior ma'am, in answer to your image making attempt and in accordance to the police act on... Will you answer my question straight and leave police act out of this right now? My superior, I told that bloody civilian to keep you at arm's length because I can arrest him for unlawful entry into this compound and send him to prison. You told him that? And what made his entry into this house unlawful, Inspector Charles? Answer me! My superior, I remember clearly how we saved that bloody civilian and a mediocre life in a motor accident that almost took his life. Yes. And the next thing, he is here. Inspector Charles, am I now to believe that you are challenging my orders and I have no right to bring in whoever I want to bring into my house anymore? Forgive me, ma. You have the proprietary right to your property. Ma! Now listen. The next time you try that rubbish, I will show you this door and it replace you with another oddly, a responsible one at that with immediate effect. Is that clear? Yes, Ma! Thank you for the second chance, Ma!
Chris. Chris, what is keeping you? Sorry, I kept you waiting. I was trying to clean up the kitchen. Okay. Uh, Chris, you know, um, I've been meaning to ask. Who taught you how to do the house chores and domestic errand? Remember I told you I grew up with my mother in the village? Okay. So I learned to do most of the house chores from her. Yes. And their sister, you told me she was kidnapped. What about her? Yes, my sister was kidnapped at some point, although she was very young at the time and she was unable to do certain things for my parents. So I was available to do those things on her behalf because I have to, you know, be there for my poor parents. They taught you well. Thank you. And your outfit, it looks good on you. Thank you very much. You look cute. Thank you. Let's go. Mr. Chris, I do not under no condition. Would you have the right to default such an information to my boss? No matter the level of threat you might have received from me. But, officer of the law, I, I didn't leak any secret to, to, to my madam. God is my witness. I didn't tell her anything. Mr. Chris, do you know that I can charge you for libel in the court of competent jurisdiction? And this will lead you to 10 years imprisonment with hard labor. Officer of the law, please forgive me, but I'm not aware of what you're accusing me of. Mr. Chris, are you playing with me? If you're not aware of the offense you committed, why are you begging for forgiveness? I, I, I begged for forgiveness because I, I don't like to see you provoked. It scares me. Now, Mr. Chris. Sir. Why did you tell my superior, I mean my boss, telling her that I am verbally intimidating you? thereby contradicting the Freedom Act of 1964 of the Federation. Oh, sir, that's the wrong information you have, sir. I, I didn't do anything like that. I can never do anything like that. Uh, sir, sir, am, am I mad? Mr. Chris. Sir. Mr. Chris. Sir. Listen, I am the Provost General. Oh, yes. And I command you now to run inside. Get me food. Sir. Meat should be in attendance. Enough meat. But more should not be exceptional. I don't like it cold. I want it hot. Now, run. Run. Up, 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 up. Bloody civilian. Up, up. My darling, ah, like, I don't get this, you know, with your profession, your position, and then your connections, you still bring yourself so low to help someone you don't even know. Tell me, I have to thank God for those qualities you just mentioned now. I believe God put me in this position to help and save life. I think. I think so, yes. So what do you intend to do with him now? If he recovers? Huh? Give us joy. I have to know. <laughs> so why, why do you ask? Ha! You're asking me what I'm asking. Because I don't get it. In this time and economy, you still go out of your way to do a lot for people you don't even know. I believe that God will provide for me to take care of that guy. But for now, I'm, I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm fine. <laughs> Shama! <laughs> I give it up to you. Eh? Me, Joy. I will just go on the road and pick someone I don't even know and then bring the person into my privacy. My darling, I give it up to you. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> 
So, so are we good now? You see, the reason you should be humble to me is because as an inspector of the police force, I can stand in court as a prosecution witness and send you or escort you to prison. Officer. I wanted to ask you a very important question. Go ahead. I'm very free. As far as your question will not contradict your journey to the gas chamber. What does my question have to do with a gas chamber? I was only trying to ask you if it is possible for someone to go to jail without committing an offense. As far as your life and active. Prison is the, the 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 easiest trap. Just like that. Random first words out of my mouth. What you're even doing right now is terrible to law. I can decide to sue you. Hurry up and wash these clothes. You know I have other clothes inside. And you still need to I I iron all of, all of them. Officer of the law, I was only Are you complaining? I'm not complaining, but I'm just in fact, I wanted to tell you that I have more chores to do inside before Madame comes back. Mr. Chris, you don't have to say anything. In fact, you, you have the right to remain silent for every, anything you say here can be used against you in the court of law. Before you you, 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 you said you were not compl complaining, whereas you, you are. Or do you want me to sue you? Shalma. The provost. You're welcome, ma. I hope nothing unpleasant happened while I was away. Ma'am, it's as if you've forgotten so soon of my shooting skills. As far as I'm the officer in charge of this vicinity, nothing mega. Nothing happened. And what about the young man, Mr. Chris? I hope you are electing cordially with him. Yes, ma'am. I am strongly applying the principle of human relationship as it is contained in the police code of conduct. Great. I'll see you later. Oh, madam. You're back. Yes, I'm back. You're welcome. How was work today? Work was fine. And you? Fine, fine. Thank you. Okay. Um, it seems you did laundry today. Oh, yes. I'm actually done ironing. All right. That's good. Would you like lunch or you'd want to run a bath first? Run my bath? What happened? Is the tap not running? You didn't pump water today. Oh, I told you uh, the tap is bad. So I didn't want to damage it any further. Ah. That is thoughtful of you. 
It's okay. You can go ahead with what you're doing. I can just run my back myself. Hold on. You look tired. I can help you do both. I don't. It's okay. Wait. No, serious. Let me help you. No, it's fine. Let me help you. Don't worry. I'll help you. Thank you, Mr. Chris. You're welcome, ma. Sit. Ma? Sit. There's something I want to discuss with you. All right, ma. Just give me a minute. I'll do that shortly. Okay. Um, <clears throat> sorry, ma. You forgot this money in one of the jean pockets. I found it when I was doing laundry. How much is that? I have no idea. I didn't count it. Why didn't you count? Are you that careless? No. Because it's not mine. I don't have to count it. Count it. What? Count. Okay. Fifteen thousand. Okay. Go and keep it on my bed. Here are the key. And from today, I give you access to my bedroom. My, I don't think that's necessary. I mean, if you're giving me access to your bedroom to clean it, I can always do that when you come back from work. I don't have to do it when you're not around. Chris, Ma. henceforth, do not question my decision. Am I clear? I'm sorry, Ma. No, I'm not clear. Right. Thank you. Mr. Chris. Are you sure you didn't lie to me when you said you grew up in the village? No. I couldn't have lied to you. There was no point. I mean, there's no reason for that. Besides, I come from a family background where lies are considered a sin beyond pardon. If you truly grew up in the village like you said, how come you speak good English? Self-development. I didn't let my situation determine my destination. Oh. That is a good philosophical saying. Now go ahead, explain more. What do you mean by that? It's a long story. <clears throat> so, uh, after my secondary education, I, I tried to gain admission into the university, but it didn't work because my parents were poor and I didn't have anyone to help me financially. So that dream of becoming the university graduate died. But then I took up a teaching job and I began to teach for a while. And after that, I was able to save some money to go to school. But unfortunately for me, the crisis, the riot in my community started. That's quite a pity. Mr. Chris, 
Supposing you are given an opportunity to choose a lifeline, what, what would be your choice? So I've been thinking, I'd like to do business. And apart from doing business, I'd also like to do law part-time. Mm -hmm. Why? Money is important. You need money to cushion the effect of hardship. So I'd like to do business to make money. And uh, I also like to become a lawyer because I have to be a voice to the voiceless. I need to help a lot of people in my community. And uh, becoming a lawyer would help me achieve that. All right. That will be all for now. I need to go to my bed, rest my head. OK? Yeah. Yeah. I will rest my head. Good night. So you, you, you wickedly and deliberately decided to starve me. Not minding the negative impact it will have on my house. Officer of the law, I'm really sorry if you feel that way. But you know I always smuggle food to you without my madam's consent. Smuggle? That is an offense. Huh? Oh yes, that is an offense which contravenes the Custom Act. Being a smuggler is a case against this country. You are a saboteur. And, and there is a particular jail team that is designated for that. Officer of the law, I never told you I'm a smuggler. I said I smuggle food to you. Did you not hear me? That too is a case of theft. Ha! That too is a clear case of theft. Which is punishable by law. And as I stand here, I can prove to you beyond every reasonable doubt that I can convict you in court. <sighs> okay, officer of the law, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for using those wrong words to qualify my actions. However, you can have the quick yumba. I'll go get you some food to eat. Be very, very fast about that food. Very, very fast. I'll begin to make calls on. And we're men. Officer of the law. You're always threatening me with jail, with prison. What is it? And if I don't put you in jail, I will never rest. If I don't put you in jail, if I rest, call me pastor. Madam Joy, welcome, ma'am. Thank you, the Crown Provost of the Police Force. I greet you. The Provost General, without a complimentary <laughs> rank. Waiting to take your orders, ma'am. That's good. I, I hope your madam is in. In line with the first relationship. As pretty calls. That will be all for now. Permission to take my leave? Permission granted. Thank you. Get my madam. Come, Chris. Chris, why are you in a hurry? So I want to tell my madam you're here. 
Of course you will tell her. Oh my goodness. Look at you. A lot has changed. I mean, you look so transformed. I am trying to understand what you mean by I look so transformed. <sighs> Chris, I mean, you look so appealing and so handsome. Can't you see? <laughs> oh, thank you. Can I call her now? Of course you can call her. Oh, thank you. Wow. I must thank Lizzie for, you know, taking good care of him. Yes, she deserves an apple. Oh my God. Lizzie, baby. Um, Lizzie. Yes, girl. I want you to tell me the truth. About what? Um, Lizzie, oh, who is Chris to you? Yeah. Oh, what's Chris? What do you mean by what, Chris? Do I know you with any other Chris? Yeah, I mean the Chris that stays here with you. What do you have with him? The curious joy. The curious joy. <laughs> I hope you have not come to my house with your expertise in surveillance. You know I am above your spy. <sighs> Lizzie, honestly, I'm not kidding. I'm not joking here. You know, the change and the transformation I saw in that guy when I walked in here, Got my fancy. I must say, I'm interested. Like, I like him. I don't mean it. I'm very serious. <laughs> Personally, I have not noticed any change in that young man. <clears throat> not at all. Heaven knows he means nothing to me. For real. <laughs> Lizzie, you will never change. I don't understand it. Nothing, no. Like, you're kidding me. You don't have it. You've never seen any change in that boy. Joy, cross my heart. I have not seen any change in that boy or that guy. In fact, he's a man. He's not even a boy. I don't know what is wrong with you. Chris is nothing than an inheritance humble servant who has been helping me tremendously with house chores. Just that. That. I see. Why? Why are you sounding as if you don't believe me? Of course I believe you. Joy. Do you believe yourself? Joy, what, what, what's going on in your mind? Baby girl, you know when your heart starts doing you somehow. No, 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 no. You should know that there's something. Do you think I'm lying? Uh, I did not say so. I'm just saying, do you believe yourself? Because I don't believe myself. Because anything can happen. Yeah, that's by the way. <laughs> Joy. Yes, babe. Um, Mr. Chris, I do not know how long you can keep secret. Officer of the law, if you tell me a secret, I promise to keep it and not tell anyone. Well, why, why am um, I even begging a bloody civilian like you? I can't be begging a civilian. If I hear anything I'm telling you here, anywhere outside, I will send you to prison without mercy. Officer of the law, if you tell me your secret, I promise to keep my mouth sealed. Mr. Chris, I can see you are enjoying my madam's mansion and the luxury. And it. Well, you're right, Officer of the Law. I've always dreamt of living in a house this big all my life. 
<clears throat> My madam's father owns this like four in this state, including Abuja. And I want to let you know that my madam is in charge of all. Wait a second. Do you mean to tell me that madam owns a lot of houses? She is the living landlady as we speak. She is the sole administrator of her father's estate. Wow. That's good. Do you know why I'm telling you this? Why are you telling me? This is a notification to you. Okay. If my madam likes you and she decides to favor you, she will send you overseas. So you should serve her diligently and honestly. I get your point. Thank you very much, Officer of the Law. Henceforth, I promise to increase the quantity of the food I serve you. Mr. Chris, anytime you're talking about food with me, don't forget protein. Add enough protein. All right. <laughs> That's fine. I deserve protein. <laughs> I will. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Joy, darling. Suta, thank you for coming, okay? I promise that <laughs> one day I shall reciprocate this young good guest show. I promise. Hello. What? See who is talking. <laughs> Lizzie, are you sure you heard yourself very well? You will visit me. Hey! <laughs> Any day that happens, you know what I'm going to do? I will go to church. I will make sure I go with big cow. Big one, oh, very big one. I will dance and dance and dance, and they will ask me what's the problem. I will tell them, my friend, <laughs> Lizzie came to my yeah, house. <laughs> Oh my god, no, no, I'm not that I'm not that bad. I'm not bad. I'm not that bad. Oh. Okay. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for understanding me and accommodating my my weakness, okay? <laughs> it's okay, my darling. <laughs> what are friends for? Hmm. You know I love you so much. They so love it's you fine. Too. I love you so I much. I know too. that um Inspector and Chris, they are always taking good care of you. <laughs> so it's fine. Front. Don't, 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 don't go there again. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, how's it going with you and um, Mike? And all that suitors coming in and out of your life. Um, Lizzie, I don't want to talk about that. Because it feels like suffering and smiling. I don't want to be in that kind of relationship. Meanwhile, why are you not hooked? Uh, not her. Lizzie, you need a man in your life. Look at all the accessories that you have in your body. Chai, what is wrong with you? I've told you time with that number not to visit this issue again. Uh, why not? I told you I was supposed to be a Catholic reverend sister. Doing God's work. <laughs> if not... If not my father. Please, uh, don't make me cry. Easy. Come on, stop. Stop it. Why are you crying? Doing God's work and the work you're doing. Are they not the same? Yes. Every work you're doing, once you're doing something that is good, you're working for God. Wherever you find yourself, that is where God wants you to be. So it's possible this is where God wants you to be. And it's better. What are you saying? What is better about where I am right now? No, tell me. Maybe you don't know what it means. 
being a reverend sister. I don't know what sisterhood looks like. I don't know what it takes to be there. Doing the work of the Most High God and serving people. Doing a humanitarian work. I don't understand it. I do understand it. And you know what, my darling? We are still saying the same thing. <sighs> doing God's work, serving people. What are you doing? You work for the society. You're serving people. You make people happy. You help us at work. What are you saying? <laughs> you? Yes, my darling. Because whatever you're doing and you're doing it right, to me, that is God's work. So wherever you find yourself and you're doing it, that is it. So just cheer up. Joy the washer. <laughs> just pressure. <laughs> No, please! But, but, but you know, I got you, baby. I got you. And you know what I'm saying is the truth. So you need to come be happy. Here, come here. Mm. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank it's you right. for being there for me, okay? Anytime, baby. I have to run, okay? It's okay. It's okay. Let me Make sure you, you take good care of yourself. I will. Anyway, I trust Chris. Uh, huh? Inspector, take good okay, care of you. <laughs> Bye, baby. See ya. Mr. Chris! Chris! So, are you calling me? Yes, I did. Okay. There is a white bag on my bed. Please help me get it. Okay. Please. What? Please sit. Oh, okay. In appreciation for your loyalty and services to me, I got it. it. A phone? A cell phone? Yes. I, oh. hope, I hope you like it. Of course I like it. Thank you so much, Ma. It's okay. May God bless you, Ma. May God replenish your pocket. Thank you so much. I appreciate this, Ma. This is so kind of you. It's okay, Chris. In addition to that, henceforth, I want you to address me by Lady Lazy, no more ma compliments. Is that okay? But ma, wouldn't that sound rude? That is what I want and how I want you to address me. Is that a problem to you? No ma. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, Miss Lazy. Okay. That is fine for now. You may go. I'll be off to work. But please, help me with this. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you. Wow. I Thank believe you, you already have a SIM card, so you will go and retrieve it so that you have the line. Is that okay? No problem. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Where's my khaki? Oh, okay. Okay, dear. Officer in charge. Mr. Chris. Yes. I'm very excited. I feel like I'm on top of the world. <laughs> I told you. I told you that you're serving a super rich police officer. Mm. Provost General. Mm. I must thank you immensely. I have been briefed by Lizzie. She told me how you played a vital role towards saving my life during the accident. Mr. Chris, mm? I heard you call my boss Lizzie. Do you know that is an offense of defamation of character? 
and it is punishable by law. Officer in charge, can you just slow down with the charges? She said I should call her that henceforth. Yes. Listen, if I find out that you told a lie, I am not only going to prosecute you, but I'm going to tell my boss to imprison you forever, for life. All right, I concur. What? I concur. Mr. Chris? Yes. You conquered. Ah. Oh. Officer in charge, I never said I I have conquered. I said I concur, which means I accept everything you have said. Is that good? Concur? You said you conquered an officer of the police force? See you in court. Mr. Chris, see you in court. This young man sounds very intelligent and pretends not to be. He must be a spy. He must be a Russian spy. I will keep an eye on you, Mr. Chris. Wait a minute. I concur. I concur. I concur. Please, darling. I must commend you. The last time I was in your house, I couldn't get my eyes off Chris. That guy looks so handsome. Oh my goodness. Who looks so handsome? Chris? My servant? Yes! Don't call that boy your servant too, because he's so cute. Do you see his skin? His smile? Oh my God. Sure, do you know you wouldn't have been in police force? Why you not? would have met a good novelist. What is wrong with you? Why is it that you don't like taking me serious? When I tell you something, believe me. Do you know that guy made me for the first time? I felt something. Wait, I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't see those things you're talking about that guy. I can't see anything. That's why. He's been in that house with me. All I see in him is a guy who is really helping me out in doing house chores. And that's all. I can't see anything like handsome, goodness. Honestly, I can't, I can't see them, really. Then you don't know what you're saying. You don't have eyes. Anyway, all this your Virgin Maria, you know, Sister Mary, they've really dealt with you. Because that guy, Chris. You want to insult me, right? Want to that me. guy, Chris. Please forget about Thank that. You. Thank you. He looks so about good. Her. Thank you, baby. Oh, what? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, my mad girl. Very <laughs> yeah, jaw. Let's go. Oh, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye. Inspector, you see, I can identify kindness when I see one. I owe a lot of gratitude to Madame Lizzie. She has a way of protecting and taking care of the poor. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's my boss for you. I mean, that lady can share her wealth into two and give half to the poor. But she hates lies and pride. Sorry, sir. Are you trying to say I'm a liar and I'm proud? That's 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 your own cup of tea. Own cup of tea. Yes. If you like, you lie. If you like, you. Ah. 
my Cordelia. Yeah. Fine man. Hello. My Jimbo well baby. <laughs> Fine man. You see this medicine, eh? I just miss it now. It's very strong. See, you must eat very well before taking it. Oh, oh, okay. I see. Uh, Mr. Chris? Yes? You heard her. Run to the kitchen and make me a good food. I'm sorry. Um, sorry, Inspector. There's no food until lunch is served. Okay. Hmm? This one is number one. I hope you added the uh, yellow fever. Oh, guy, Inspector. Go inside and give me money now. Let me go attend to customers waiting for me. If yellow fever is disturbing you, go to hospital. Cordelia, I can see you are beginning to challenge my authority. Cordelia, do you know that I can charge you for illegal drugs? Huh? Oh, God, police, go give me money now. Let me go. Each time you take my bonus, so, so arrest, arrest, go, they come out from your mouth. Look, keep, 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 keep quiet. Um, Mr. Chris, sir. Uh, you kindly run inside and get me 1,000 naira. Thank you. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. That's impossible. I don't have any money, sir. Mr. Chris, sir. Run inside and get me 1,000 naira. What is wrong with bloody civilians? Don't you want the 1,000 again? Mr. Chris. Do you know that by the power conferred on me as an inspector of the law and the future inspector general of police, I can charge you for civil disobedience? Officer, what have I done again? Did I not obey you? You asked me to give the woman money. Did I not give her money? What are my offenses now? Mr. Chris, it seems... I am being too familiar with you. Ha. Paying that money is one thing. And discharging your duty promptly and effectively is another thing. Uh, officer of the law, what, what exactly have I done? Can you kindly tell me what my offense is? You asked me to give the woman the money. I gave the woman. And you know I have no money. I had to steal my madam's money. Right now, I have to look for a way to replace the money. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Mr. Chris. That is double offense. Oh, yes. And I can charge you for stealing my tricks. But I will. <sighs> now, get inside and bring my food. Get inside. Officer, I'm sorry, that is totally impossible. The only food remaining is for madame. Do you want to eat madame's food? I suppose no. Mr. Chris, I give you two options. Just two. Go in there, bring my food, face madame. Or refuse to give my food and face the firing squad. Choose one. I will get you the food, please. There is nothing as good as power. Back. How's work, man? Chris. Huh? Don't tell me you have short memories. What have I done? Simple instruction. It's difficult for you to carry on. Oh, oh. I'm so sorry, Ma. I'm already used to addressing you as, you know, Ma. It's actually a sign of respect, and I'm used to it. Okay. Let me make it simple for you. Call me Lizzie. All right, Miss Lizzie. No, Lizzie. All right, Lizzie. That's Good. right. Yeah. Um, that reminds me. What was that you discussed with my friend Joy the last time she came?
Um, nothing really important. We we just talked about a few things, and she complimented my looks. I think that's about it. Yeah. Okay, that's all for now. Please, get my food ready. All right, now. Inspector Charles, I am working relentlessly to ensure that your name will be enlisted in the next ASP cadet course so that you will be elevated. My superior, I believe if I am being promoted, I will be allowed to still work under you. Ma. Mine is to make sure that you are being promoted and that of the Commissioner of Police to do his posting based on state level, Inspector Charles. If promoting me to the rank of an ASP will demote me as your orderly, it's better I remain an inspector. Inspector Charles, why such a decision? My superior, it's rather I remain an inspector than being promoted to an ASP and being sent to the roadblock and die there. And most importantly, I will protect you to the best of my ability. And putting my eyes on that yellow boy, Mr. Chris, gives me a lot of joy because that boy looks suspicious. Oh, Inspector Shaz, I was thinking you were going to welcome my news with a very glad heart. My superior. I received this news with mixed feelings because most of my colleagues who were promoted are not alive to celebrate their rank. <laughs> the situation of the country is bad. <laughs> you will not kill me with jokes, Inspector Charles. My superior, it is better to be late than late Inspector Charles. It's fine. You may go back to your duty post, Inspector Charles. Thank you, Ma. <laughs> Joy, baby, are you sure you do not want to eat nor drink anything? Come on, Lizzie. I'm not a guest here. <laughs> if I want anything, I will request for it. See, <laughs> in that case, uh, Chris, you may retire back to the kitchen and continue with your house chores. All right. You're welcome. Thank you, I have Chris. To go back to the kitchen. Thank you. I hope you're okay. Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> Lizzie. Mm -hmm. There is something very important I need to discuss with you. Okay. Go ahead. What's the matter? Lizzie, um, I want us to work minds together. You know, you're like a sister to me. I can't hide anything from you. Yeah. Please. For the last time, do you have anything with Chris? Or do you love Chris? <laughs> Nothing really. Chris is just helping me with house chores and some domestic errands. That's all. That's all. Mm -hmm. Nothing attached to it. What is wrong with you, this girl? Lizzie, honestly, I just want to ask you for a favor. If you do this for me, I will be so grateful. Okay, what is it? You know, there is nothing I cannot do to make you happy. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Lizzie, can you release Chris to me? I love him. What? 
Yes, Afro Mianania. I love him so, so much. I can't stop thinking about him. Like, oh my God. Oh my God. Please. Oh, God, there, God, there. Tapranute. Get up, get up. Watching and setting. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Uh, you see, God, there. The last album you gave me did well in my body. If you see the way it washes my body and sets every part, <laughs> that was when I knew that the God gave you to this place just to sell Agbo. <laughs> I hope so. the damn place. You belong to Agbo Kingdom. <laughs> yes, we have come a long way. No, 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 no. I know that nobody can challenge you. It's true. You see this one? Number one. This Agbo is number one. Ah! You know I trust you. Yeah. Since I would have arrested you, ah. I would have arrested you for illegal drug trafficking. Yes, I would have. Ah. But oh. come to think of it, Cordelia, Cordelia, are you sure this your medicine is registered with NAVDAC? Oh, God, bro, bro, calm down now. The way you are taking my boy without going to hospital, paying high high bills, is it no better for you? Yeah, it's true. Eh? You know how country is. It's true, I was just joking. After ah. all, this... Uh, medicine they are selling in the hospital is it all that cure the med uh, the sickness? It's not all that cure all the sickness. Ah, again. Let's forget the issue uh, of Abu. Tell me, um, who is that guy that I saw the other day that paid me? That fine guy. Why they shake my? Tell me now. That fine bobo now. Why I saw the other day that paid me? Godele. Um, that's fine, Bobo. do you know that I can charge you for trespassing? Eh? Looking at my madam, my madam, how's help in a romantic eye? Me? Eh? You say how's help? That's fine, Bobo. Yes, now. Your madam what? How's help? Okay, no problem, no problem. Uh, pay me, make a day go. I should pay you. Mm. After. I might have given you the information you deserve, the information you wanted information to know. For this business, how much will, will you now pay for the information? I beg, I know you came here, you admire somebody, and I don't, I make a yeah, don't, don't, don't make noise in this. I will arrest you for noise, noise pollution. You know, Paul? It is how they fear you. Idiot, come on. Give me my 200 naira, make a day go, I beg. Are you uh, dead? Me? Sure you chop winch. Officer of the law. Which officer? Mr. Chris. Yes, please. Do you have anything to tell me? I mean, is there anything I should know? No, I don't have anything to tell you. Don't forget I'm a police officer. And I know everything about you. If I find out you are lying to me or playing games with me, I won't forget to show you the exit door. And you know you are going to suffer it. I'm not lying to you. I don't have any reason to. You've been a nice person to me. And I have so much respect for you. I promise never to lie to you. I can't do that. Please, man. There's something I'd like you to do for me. Okay. What is that? I need a job. I'm tired of staying in this house idle. Not doing anything. I need to work. I'll appreciate it if you help me find one. Noted. I will fix you with a very good job soon. I'm working on that already. Is that okay? Yeah, thank you very much. It's fine. Thank you.
Chris. Good morning, ma. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Okay. How are you enjoying your stay here? Um. I'm I'm doing I'm doing fine. I mean, I couldn't have asked for a better place to stay. So I'm I'm fine. Chris, Ma. won't you at least offer me a seat? Oh, my apologies. Please sit down. Uh, sorry, I I I didn't expect to see you in my room this morning. It's okay. <laughs> um, Chris. Yes, please. Remember you, you promised never to lie to me, right? Yes, of course. I, I promised never to lie to you. Why? What can my friend Joy do for you that will make you forget my kindness to you? Where's that coming from? I mean, the question sounds very weird. Besides, why, why do you put so much attachment to your friend, Joy? What's so special about her? Nothing. <laughs> I was just teasing you. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I want to still ask. Okay. What do you think about my friend, Joy? What I think about her? Mm -hmm. Um, from my observations, I feel like, I would say she's the closest to you because she's, she's about the only one who comes around often. And, um, I want to believe both of you are very close because, um, I see the energy when, you know, you interact mm -hmm. with yourselves. And so I, I want to think she's your best friend. Yeah. Yes. You are right. Your observations are right. Yes, um, okay. Um, so, what are you up to? Um, nothing. I'll go down shortly and do the chores and... I can see that pride is setting into your life. Imagine, you did not even think of bringing lunch to me. Why? Officer in charge, I apologize for that. I've been very busy in the kitchen trying to cook and feed my madame. By so doing, you're starving me and giving me room to charge you for negligence and starvation. Mr. Provost, I think you need to sort out things with my madam. Because according to the information I have, you must not eat lunch. That you're privileged to eat breakfast and dinner. No lunch for you, sir. Mr. Chris. Yes. Having seen the intents of your foolish heart, I will tell my boss that you are a common thief. Oh, yes. Officer in charge, did you forget you were the one who asked me to steal the money and get you food? In other words, you are accusing me of aiding and abetting crime. That is another offense that will make me see you in court. Well, Mr. Provost, what are you talking about seeing me in court when we're only having a conversation? I do not need any more conversation from you. Mr. Chris, see you in court. Um, officer in charge. Please, I need to know what court exactly, which of the courts, and do I have the right to a lawyer? Mr. Chris. Sir. You're a foolish man. You're a bloody civilian. I will court martial you. Now, get out from my side. Get out! Hop, 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 idiot. Bloody civilian.
Mr. Chris, you need to play by the rules. You see, my experience as an inspector of the law, I have prosecuted 30 suspects, 29 life imprisonments, two ran away out of fear. Wow. Wow. Officer in charge, that's very, very impressive. You know, I have always said to myself that you're a powerful police officer. You possess so much gallantry and experience. Sometimes I begin to wonder why you were sent to be in charge of the gate instead of fighting on the field. Mr. Chris, sir, that is not acceptable. Never. I will advise you watch your mouth. Else, I charge you for miscommunication. I'm sorry, sir. Now let me tell you a story. There was a bloody civilian who paraded himself as a lover boy. Tried to get involved with my boss sexually. A bloody civilian? With a senior police chief? She reported to me. I arrested him, detained him, and charged him for breach of peace. Mr. Chris. Sir. Your days in this house are numbered. Um, officer in charge, would you like a glass of water? Let me quickly get you a glass of water. Mr. Chris? Sir. I hope you're not running away. No, no, sir. I'll be right back, sir. Bloody civilian. Chris, darling, is this your first time staying alone with a woman? I'm sorry, madam, I don't have any response to that question. Besides, my boss didn't tell me you were going to visit. Oh, <laughs> relax. I will wait for your boss to get back. Okay? Um, can you please um, hand over your phone to me? I want to dial a number. Please. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, um, Chris. Yes, please. Um, there is something important I would love to discuss with you. Please sit. If you're going to be fast with it, you're no problem, I'll sit. Fast, I promise. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know. <laughs> You know what I wanted to say was um You clearly don't have anything to say. Sorry, can I have my phone? I, I do. I have to, you know, continue with the I, chores. I won't waste your time. Sorry, excuse me. Thank you. Chris. coming to my house mm. my sister i was so pissed like i was so pissed to my bone marrow you see that stupid dto eh he got on my nerves how dare he tap my bone marrow? is it crazy or something <laughs> please sit down <laughs> rubbish what uh, nonsense i think it's his own way of showing love and affection but then your response and attitude, I think it was way, way insulting. Lizzie, don't tell me you support that beast for what he did to me. Is love by force. 
say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for sounding the way I did. But I felt there are better polite way to still pass your message. Animals like that beast don't deserve polite words. What they deserve is disgraceful words, just as I gave it to him. Pa, pa, pa. Uh, uh, it's okay. Can we just forget about this right now? So, have you been offered anything? My sister, not you know. Huh? Where is Chris? Huh? Chris, I was busy giving excuses that uh, um, that he was doing some chores for you. He left me and went to the backyard. I've just been sitting here, very hungry. I'm gonna go maybe. For... I'm, I'm sorry, darling. Huh? So, what would you want to drink or eat? Let me, let me, let me get that for you. Anything you give me, I'm so hungry as you see me like this. So. It's all right. I will be a minute. Okay? Please tell him to come and serve me. <laughs> Lizzy, baby. Just tell him to come and serve me, okay? <laughs> oh my goodness. Stupid DTO. Hey, I'm not waiting for you. I go inside. Go bring my money. Pay me now. <laughs> Cordelia. So, Cordelia, for your mind. You are exercising your right mm. for selling illegal and unregistered traditional medicine. Hey, I no come here for all this big, big grammar where they speak. I bet go inside, go bring my own money and give me. Make a come out here now. Ah uh ah, -uh. kilo share. Kode kode, kode. You know the now you they make us they fight every day. Mm. Now you they make us they fight every day. You're not supposed to be fighting on the normal. Eh? I don't tell you, see, accept my proposal and be happy. Hmm? Oh, yes. Just accept to marry me now. <laughs> hey, hey! So you look me finish. I can't be like person where you go marry me. See, ordinary, I go where they drink inside your body to pan the haji. Eh? You go feed, feed woman, so? Of course, I feed, feed woman. Don't you know that I am saving that money for your big day? I mean, the day I will take you to the altar. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. So, if get no for, you know, go pay me for ordinary abo way drink. Eh? Oh, you are expecting game for this dry season. I beg, pay me, make a come out here. Uh, ah, Cordelia, come, come down. See, uh, just go out there. Put jata jata. All those ones who were washing and setting. Just come and call, give me. When I drink, I finish. I go pay you when you come back. See, when see, you finish see, market see, today. See, see me, I tell you. I no feel sell any about to you again until you pay me for the last one you bought on credit. Don't tell me. Did I hear me? I, I, I don't understand. <laughs> Do, don't you know I can charge you for break and enter in this place? Oh yeah! Oh yeah now! Nah. Arrest me! Mr. Provost, arrest me! Ah! Look how sexy you are. Anytime you get angry, you get sexy. Now who get this one? Chris! 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 Mr. Chris! Auntie, you call me. Oh, sorry, I, I, I'm busy in the kitchen. I didn't hear you call out. Sorry. Why did you neglect my friend, Joy? Neglect your friend, Joy. I'm sorry, Ma, how did I do that? I didn't neglect your friend. I only told her I was busy in the kitchen. You should have at least asked her what she wanted to drink or serve her something before doing what you're doing in the kitchen. Well, I want to believe that was an oversight. I just told her I was busy in the kitchen. I, I, didn't, I didn't know she felt neglected. I'm sorry about that. It's alright. Next time, make sure you correct impression. That's fine. But Ma, you didn't tell me she was coming around. Joy is my friend. She's always welcome to this house. Is that correct? That's okay. Good. You may leave. Thanks for the correction. You may go. Yeah. Oh my gosh.
Halo? Ya? Yeah. Who? Halo? Miss Joy? How did you get my number? Chris, darling. Are you surprised? Oh. You, you took my number when I gave you my phone. Stop behaving naive. Can't you understand that? I love you. Miss Joy, sincerely speaking, I don't understand any of this. I see this as a plot to take me away from Lizzie's house. And trust me, whatever your plans are, I am not interested. Please. I heard you talking to someone on the phone. Who was that? Talking to someone on the phone? Yes, you. No. No. I wasn't talking to someone on the phone. You probably heard me singing. Oh, oh I love to sing. I didn't tell you. It's my hobby. Oh. You like singing? Oh, yes. I, I like singing, but I have a terrible voice. <laughs> nice. Okay. See me in my room by 6 p.m. Let me have some rest. Okay, no problem. Officer in charge. Good day, sir. Mr. Chris. Sir. Mr. Chris, do you know that you are an ungrateful element? Uh -uh. Me? Ungrateful oh, element? Yes. yes. Sir, but what have I done? I, I, I can remember we never had a quarrel. We've been very cordial. What is wrong? What do you mean by cordial? How do you mean cordial? Mr. Chris? Sir? Is that a setup or what? Do you know I can charge you for falsehood and misunderstanding claims? But sir, I'm sorry for what I said, I, but, but I'm here to understand why you said I'm ungrateful. Mr. Chris. Sir. In police force, there is what we call gratification. In other words, sorting. When you receive a gesture from a senior officer, what you do is you show gratification. In the religious aspect, they call it tithe and offering. Oh, sir, do you mean bribe? Shut up! What? Mr. Chris! Sir? How dare you try to bribe an officer of the law? Oh, sir, I didn't try to bribe you. Shut up! Do you know that I can charge you for bribery and corruption? Oh, sir, I didn't give you money. I, I, you just said something that I tried to... Will you go and get my food? Go and get my food! Go and get... Blood this civilian. Blood this civilian. This boy, in all my years of service, I have never been distressed of my life. You're becoming too wise for my liking. Henceforth, you will never cross this gate. You will never cross this gate. Even you were given order to cross the gate, you will give me an estimated time of arrival. Bloody Syria. What kind of stupid animalistic feeling am i having about this guy chris why must i consent to law of having such oh am i playing to the gallery please if you agree to my proposal i will not only fix the traditional wedding immediately but i will, I will average for the for the white wedding in the u.s where i base please
Mr. Jeff. Yes, please. I want you to read my lips. I am not interested. Did you hear that? I am not interested. And please, do not try to impress me with anything you know money can buy. Please, if you don't mind, I'll go on my knees to, to make you know how I love you and feel for you. Mr. Jeff, I think at this point you need to take your leave because it's time for me to have my rest. Please, you need to understand how I feel about you. Please. Please, you may leave. I believe you should be the gentleman that I think you are. Unless if you want to tell me that you are not, I can involve my oddly. No, 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 it doesn't come to that. It doesn't come to that. Oh, you see, my, my heart beats for you. Leave. I, I... Go ahead. I just want to... I, I love you, Liz. I love you. Why are you pestering me? What are you doing in my house? Mr. Jeff, why are you pestering me? What is wrong with you? Why are you following me about? Have I not told you that I'm not interested in you? Or any other man? Have I not? Please, you know, we build, we build love, you know? If you just accept me, the love will grow gradually. I said, trust me. my house right now. Easy. I'm in love. Inspector Shas! Arrest this man and charge him accordingly. He doesn't come to that place. Take care of him. Hello. Sit. I should sit down. Okay. Chris. Yes. Remember you promised never to lie to me. And I believe you know the consequences if you do. Yes, I promised never to lie to you. And I still keep to my promise. Good. Now tell me, what's your relationship with women? And how many do you have before and now? Um, I really don't know how to start answering your question, but I can remember as a teacher in the village, I had so many female students as friends um, because I'm one of those people who think it is inappropriate to have an affair with a female student. So they were more like my sisters, friends, and our relationship was very platonic. However, I had something to do with uh, a colleague of mine, a fellow teacher. But then again, it wasn't for too long because she she got married. Oh. Yeah. She got married. Okay. Why didn't you marry her? Um, we really never talked about marriage. Um, we didn't go that far because she was a very ambitious person. She wanted to travel out. She wanted to do business. She wanted to do so many things. And I think um, from the little time we spent together, she was more of um, an ambitious person. 
marriage wasn't um, in her dictionary at the time, but I was very surprised that you know someone came and got married to her. Someone who came from America, actually. Yeah. Oh. And that, that must have been a very big um, heartbreak for you. Well, not entirely, uh, because I saw it as an opportunity for her to, you know, seek for a greener pasture. Because don't forget, I, I said she had always wanted to travel out. And so the guy called Jeff came all the way from America and got married to her and and the rest is history. Yeah. Did you say the guy's name is Jeff and he's based in America? Yes. His name is Jeff, I can remember. And he came all the way from America, yes. Can you can you describe this Jeff? Um I can remember he is a slim person and That was where I shot ten gorilla. Ten gorilla. I brought them down. <laughs> I shot ten gorillas down. And that was when my commandant looked at me and said, I will give you a name. He nicknamed me the Provost General with capital letter P. <laughs> oh, yes. Hey! Oh, God, Inspector. Eh? You can tell me all these things. I see that I know they listen to me, so no current affairs again. Hey! That, oh, listen to me. Mm -hmm. If you dare say anything that is contradicting to what I'm saying now, to my opinion, I will arrest you and charge you for liberty. I beg you, this issue of arrest and persecution done too much for your mouth. See, which uh, peacekeeping go Gaza did you open? Is it the happening one or the coming one? Will you shut up your mouth? Woman, shut up! Before you force me to divulge highly military intelligence right now on you! Hey, I'll be special. See, I tell you, when my power no reach, go peacekeeping with us. Israeli army, then go shop on our own. Um, Cordelia. At this point, I can see you're good for nothing. Oh yes, the only thing you're good for is to gallivant the streets selling this, this, this condemned medicine. Oh yes, you have to leave this place now, or I will arrest you and charge you for trespassing. Okay. Hey, that won't be a problem. I will go. But see, eh? I know go marry you. Now you go. Get her from here! Uh -huh. You know, Mammy, I'm not Oh, yeah, go and marry me, Kate. Somebody with so much security intelligence, I'm not telling you. How about get out? My superior, as I serve her, I will have no mercy on any civilian. I shall have no mercy on any civilian. Shoot at sight. Shoot at sight. General, what is it? Why are you raising your voice? I heard your voice from inside. What is wrong? Mr. Chris. Yes? Do you know that I can charge you for bantry and assault? For touching me unauthorizingly? An officer of the law? 
I, I'm sorry for touching you, but I was only concerned because I heard your voice from inside. Why are you screaming? Who provoked you? Mr. Chris. Yes? For the second time, do you know I can shoot you and label you ah. for self-defense? What? Shoot me? Oh, yes! I will shoot you and label you for self-defense and nobody will ask of you. Uh, I'm sorry. I will open fire on you. I'm sorry, don't open fire on me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. How dare you touch me? Inapuala! Idiot! Look at them, bloody civilians! We are bloody civilians. Good morning, ma'am. Krista, I need to talk to you. Okay. I want you to look for an alternative accommodation. I can no longer have all you here. I'm sorry, ma'am. Did, did I do something wrong? If, if I did, I, I'm, I'm sorry. If I did anything unknowingly, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about that. But you can't just throw me out on the streets. But I do not want you around the house anymore. Listen, ma, hold on, hold on. If I did any, I'm sorry, ma. Please, forgive me. You can't just throw me out of the... Inspector Sharps. I want you to keep your eyes on the house. Keep your eyes on this house. Am I clear? Consider it done, ma'am. This time, I shoot at sight any idiot that tried to trespass. And that young man, Chris, if he wants to leave, do not stop him. Pardon my curiosity, ma'am. Is Chris agitating to leave? Inspector Shas. Yes, ma'am. You are here to take my orders. You don't question my instructions. Yes, ma'am. Now, through the gates. Mr. Chris. Mr. Chris, do you... Can you see how brainless and empty you are? Can you see how dumb you are? I mean, how on this earth will you agitate to leave this compound irrespective of everything I have told you? General, if I say I have an idea of what you're saying, would you think I'm joking? Will you keep quiet? Shut up! Shut up before I will arrest you for misleading information. Mr. General, would you arrest someone who's innocent and hasn't committed a crime? Mr. Chris, have you suddenly started seeing me like a toothless bulldog that can just bark? I never said anything like that, Mr. General. Mm. I never said you're a toothless bulldog. Besides, I was doing something in the house before you reached out to me. I need to go back and continue the chores. M Mr. Chris, if you leave this place without my permission, I will arrest you and charge you for disobedience and negligence. Are you okay? What's wrong with you? Don't you have, don't you have something in your skull? I mean, don't you have brain in, inside your skull? What's wrong? How, how did I come across a, a, a bloody civilian like this? Where did I know you from? In Apuala. Joy, for the last time, Chris means nothing to me. You have not Chris, met Chris. Yes. Chris is neither my boyfriend, my lover, or my fiancé. So why are you a stumbling block between Chris and I? Why? A stumbling block? Yes. Joy, what is going on? Why can't we have peace again because of Chris? You have practically made Chris the headline whenever we are discussing. Because I love Chris. I love him. Ah. Why Chris? What happened to the flocks of men asking for a hand in marriage? 
It's grace I want, can't you understand? The heart knows what it wants. I don't want those men, I want Chris. It's Chris you want? Yes. Such a low life? <sighs> Should we say it's because of his low life I love him? I love Chris. Everything about him makes me feel happy. Joy. Yes. Help his sister. Kode Kode Kodelia my dimple baby Look at her, look at her <laughs> Look at her Cordelia, huh? the only woman that melted the heart of an officer of the law <laughs> Cordelia, listen to me Cordelia, the moment you say yes to me Your problems are over <laughs> Hey, Miss Beto how do you plan or intend to achieve that? Cordelia, I, I, listen. The way you go about this three, with this outdated medicine on your head, burning your skin under this hot sun, is making me sick. Like, I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> I beg, forget my trade and business and answer me. How do you intend to give me a good life? Godelia, my and where shall both of us live? Maybe in your security house, Abby. Oh no, 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 no! Listen to me. I have plans. Oh yes, my name is Inspector Charles. I know you. AKA the Provost General, number one. <laughs> the moment you say yes to me, I will take a slow march to my superior officer. A slow march. I know you will not understand what is slow march. I put it to her. I tell her, madam, salute. Give me a place. I mean, a flat where I can stay with my beloved Cordelia. And she will answer with immediate alacrity. And I will go further and say, madam, I hereby facilitate to sack Mr. Chris so that my Beloved Cordelia can assume the position of a house help. Eh? What is that? Miss Peter, you want me, your newly married wife, to become a house help? Eh? Thereby making me to stop hurting my abuabi. Cordelia, this is a well tailored idea. I I have my way around all these things. It is a well tailored idea. I better go and look for me to marry. No, Cordelia. 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 What did you say? Cordelia, listen to me and listen real good. Any day I find your elephant feet, your dirty feet around this jurisdiction, I will charge you for wandering. And not only for wandering, I will charge you for assault to the police force. Look at this woman, bloody civilian. Wandering about with illegal drugs. You are under arrest. Mr. Chris, can you give me just two reasons? Two good reasons you decided to wickedly stab me to death. Um, Mr. General, you have to understand that it's not my fault. I didn't decide not to serve you food. My madam locks the kitchen and the store. And why would the poor lady lock the kitchen just to save a poor life? Tell me! I beg your pardon. Why would she do that? Is anyone after her life? Oh, yes. Someone is after her life. Oh, yes. Because the moment you open your mouth to say such a blunder that you are leaving this compound, you are leaving this house, uh, uh, now I ask you, are you okay? Like, are you mad or something? I'm sorry to have said that. I mean, I, I regret everything. Uh, uh, listen, Mr. Chris, you can never be sorry for my belly. Oh, yes. You can never be sorry for my belly. Now go into that house. Go into your pocket. Look for money anywhere. Go and get me food before I change that for you. Did you hear me? Help! 
blood singular. Just look at him. Welcome back. And what are you still doing in my house? I'm sorry, I couldn't leave because I don't have anywhere to go. I don't have relatives. I'm sorry. What have you been to do? Nothing. I'm not hungry. Go to the truck of my car. As your back can get it for me. Do not think that uh, the arrival of my superior has given you the immunity, for I will treat your flaws. Uh, but Mr. General, I, I don't understand. You're beginning to squeeze life out of me, and if care is not taken, I might just fall down due to pressure from you. And, and to what do I attribute this bloody civilian statement to? To what? Is it anger? Complain or intention to revolt against the officer of the law? Uh, uh, officer in charge, none of the above. I'm only politely asking you to temper justice with mercy and give me a listening ear. Mr. Chris, I can read between lines as the officer of the law. I will write a petition against you and move a motion of protest and make sure you are sacked. And I'll bring somebody very wrong for this job. You are not wrong for the job. You are too clean for the job. You are very fragile. I will bring someone that will serve me the way I want. Somebody wrong Someone as wrong as I am. Um, uh, Office of the law, but what have I done? What is my offense? Uh, listen to me. Before you, I say anything. Before you hear me say anything, go inside there and give me 1,000 naira. I'm sorry, officer of the law. I have no money to give you. What did you say? I said I don't have any money on me, I swear. Then go into the house and steal your madam's money as usual. I'm sorry, I can't do that. What did you say? I said I cannot steal anymore. Then I will charge you for stealing. Ah, but officer of the law, I haven't stolen yet. Then I will charge you for the previous stealing. Oh yes, I will charge you for the previous stealing. What is all this one? Bloody civilian. Did you say it wise? Nonsense. Now, li listen, let me tell you. Go inside there and steal that money. Bring it to my chamber. I move. Uh, what is... <laughs> I am actually dealing with a madman. <laughs> Chris. Yes, please. Why are you not eating with me? Do you feel shy eating with me?
I feel like I don't deserve the privilege. Besides, I'm not hungry. Chris. Yes, please. I'm sorry for what happened today. It's okay. It's past. Um, I don't expect every day with you to be rosy. Sometimes I expect a little bit of, uh, you know, turbulent to think that you're a police officer. But I felt a little bit hurt. However, I feel better now. I'm okay. Yeah. I know you were hurt. That is why I'm apologizing. It's okay. Like I said, I feel better now. It will not happen again. I promise. You're welcome. Accepted. Okay. Thank you. Can you please? Just let me get a glass. Yeah. I can join you. Chris, my mom, you like food. <laughs> I can tell that you like food. Igbe! Igbe! <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. Mm, the food is nice. I swear with my rank. I swear with my rank. I love food from this particular eatery. The way they garnish their, 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 their protein. Is something to write him about. Oh my God. I'm glad that you like it. But Christian, let me ask you. Did you buy this food with your money? Tell me the truth. Don't you deserve it? What are you telling me? The provost deserves every good thing in life. <laughs> I deserve every good thing. It's just that this food is too expensive for you to afford. Don't worry about that. I'm just happy that uh, you appreciate me for giving you food. Mm. Are you okay? No, I'm okay. I'm very, very okay. Anyways, I have to quickly rush inside. Yes, uh, you have to. So that my superior will not come and meet you here. You know, she asked me to monitor the time you'll be coming back. She said that to you? Yes, she said that, but you're saying I've been forgiven. If not, I would have charged you for reckless movements. <laughs> I would have charged you for illegal movement. <laughs> Don't move illegally when the officer is in charge. I can see you're not afraid of me. Afraid of what? Of you? Afraid of touching the lost chosen. Why did you kiss me? I should play can't you stop any best sister? You didn't mention that to me. Did you? No, you did not. But I am. Well, that's good for you. You don't know, you don't mean to kiss me. No, no, no man is meant to kiss me in this life or even in my next life. What is wrong? What have, you, what have you done? Are you done? Are you done blabbing? Now, let me advise you. You need to stop deceiving yourself. And you need to tell other sisters out there, other reverend sisters out there. God created us to multiply. It's in the Bible. He created you and I. He said, go into the world and multiply. So stop deceiving yourself. You need a man. I as, don't. No, as a woman, you need a man in your life. I don't. You do. I don't. You do. I don't. You do. This life, the things happen for a reason, just as the clock is ticking, per seconds in a daily, events unfolding, pushing us through a life goes, sometimes 
It comes pleasantly. Sometimes it comes with ups and downs, hitches and hurdles. But in all, all you got to do, hop in and enjoy the ride while it lasts. Be positive, be true to life. Hop in and enjoy the ride. Oh, breakfast is ready. Breakfast is ready. Let me tell you, your go is toxic. Oh yes. And I will arrest you and charge you for peddling illicit and harmful drugs around. Yeah. Does this thing they call love, is it by force? Must I accept you as a lover? Eh? Have I not warned you never to bring this your filthy left legs to this jurisdiction? Okay, Inspector. I see my account as whether you go buy a book for me. I'm not come near your jurisdiction now. Eh? Just look at this local, shapeless, and weba local lady that I am even trying to pick up, brush up, and make her somebody. Someone that cannot construct common lingua franca. <sighs> Don't brush me. Don't marry me. All I know is that I am not in your jurisdiction. And I will never enter into it. Let me tell you. Young lady or whatsoever you call your name. Cody. By the time I arrest you here, you will know that this kid is my jurisdiction. Oh yes. Arrest. No. Okay, officer, no arrest you. I beg, I beg. Nothing is as sweet as power. <laughs> My name is Inspector Charles, the Provost General without no complimentary rank. My senior officer. <laughs> Inspector. Welcome to our house. Thank you. This one, you are visiting us during work hours. I hope there is no problem. Didn't you go to work today? <laughs> Inspector, I'm actually on sick leave. I decided to come here to rest my head, you know, to stay away from disturbance. I'm so sorry to hear that. Have you seen a doctor? Mm -hmm. Yes, I have. Thank you so much. Sorry. Okay then, my senior officer, you do take care of yourself while I retire to my duty post. It's all right. Let's be the cops. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Please. <laughs> How are you? I actually lied to him. I told him I was sick. I'm not sick. I can see you. <laughs> Come. Come and sit down. Come. Yeah, yeah, after you. After you. <laughs> oh. Come and sit down. Come. How are you? I'm fine. Please, can I ask you a question? Of course. <laughs> Aren't you worried about your friend? Are you not scared to know what she would do if she sees us together? Who cares? 
I don't get it. Are we not matured? I don't understand you. Like you want to remain in this house and be nothing but a common house help. Then for you to be out there making money for yourself, you have to people. One sees you as a maid and the other loves you so, so much. So who do you pick? Please, I feel this is a setup, okay? It is dangerous to be together and it's very unreasonable. I don't want any trouble. <sighs> Chris, in God's name, what's your problem? What exactly is your problem? Chris, I love you so much, can't you see? I love you. Don't you love who loves you? Or you just want to be with someone who just sees you as a maid? What's your problem? Listen, why do you love me? Why do you love someone like me? Can you give me an explanation, a detailed one? Why do you love me? What's so special about me? I love you. Take a look at your eyes. Look at everywhere. Your skin. Everything is just awesome. I love you because I can see great potentials in you. Can't you see it? You have a big dream. I see where you're going to. Let me help you get there. Give me that chance. Let me make you the man of my dream. You will never regret. <sighs> Listen, Joy, I, I heard everything you said, but you need to give me some time. All right, give me some time to think about it because it is a very difficult decision to make. So you need to just give me some time, please. Time waits for no one. Yes. If you know what I have in stock for you, you wouldn't even hesitate to remain in this place. You would just move in with me. Move in with me and let me, let me put you in paradise. Yes. <laughs> I, I've heard you. I'll, I'll definitely get back to you. I'll think about it and give you feedback. Chris, please just do this for me. I promise you, you will not regret it. Okay? <sighs> anyway. <sighs> um, I know you'll be needing some money. So I brought this for you. You can use it and buy whatever you want. Take. Oh, take. Are you trying to bribe me? Why will I? Oh my God! Why will I bribe you? Why? <laughs> Madam Joe. Inspector. Lastly, uh, you did not have the needed rest. I hope there is no issue with my madam's house help. Any insult or disrespect? <laughs> not at all, my darling. You know, Chris here is a very good man. A humble one at that. So, nothing at all. It's just that um, I got a call from the office, so I have to rush back to work. Of course. Duty calls. You know now. You're in the system, so you understand. Fine, I shall tell madam that you came visiting. Oh, there will be no need. I'm actually going to the office, so when I get there, I will see her. So come. Have this. Uh, take. For your stress. Oh. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. One more thing. Um, Inspector, I want you to always take good care of Chris. You know he's a young man that is still struggling. So we need to help him become a better person. So just make sure to live in peace with him. On my honor, I promise to take good care of that civilian. Now you come. Thank you so much. Make sure to take good care of him. If you do, I will always give you that. Thank you. Thank you.
Provost General. <laughs> Mr. Chris. Yes. You have just reminded me of my commandant in Gaza. In oh, Gaza? Yes. yes. Wow. You know, that's, that's, that, that is how he used to call me anytime he is happy with my, my shooting skills. Wow, wow. Looks like you were a sharpshooter. I am a British trained sniper. What? You don't know anything. I can shoot the eye of an eagle flying. The eye of an eagle flying? Flying. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, your surprise. The eye of an eagle flying. flying. Are you surprised? Wow. <laughs> You're blowing siren. Let me tell you, that is the reason they drafted me to come and guard my police chief. That is easy. Oh. But does that explain why you left the gate to nowhere today? You know, my boy, I told you, there was something I told you that I will teach you about security intelligence. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That's why I bought you the bottle of beer. This is an offense. This particular one now is an offense. It is pun it's a punishable uh, uh, offense. You cannot buy an officer that is on duty a beer so that the officer will get drunk and you now begin to do your evil plan, evil plot. But you are drinking it. I, I'm, I'm, I just have to drink it as a gift. Uh, but I have to teach you the law so that you be aware because no one is ignorant. You're welcome, ma'am. How's work today? Um, can I get you something to eat? Can I serve you lunch? Okay, you're not talking. Did something happen at the office? Did something happen at work? Okay, don't go quiet on me. Don't make me feel like a stranger. I want to be left alone. Okay, I respect that. But you look worried. And I can't just walk away with you looking like this. How do I look? You look very sad. Do I really look sad? Yeah, very sad. Chris. Like I said, I want to be left alone. Probably you should just step out and meet up with Shaz. I know that. All right, I'll do that. But in case uh, you're hungry, uh, just let me know so I can get you food.
is it? Did I ask you to come in? I'm asking you, Chris. What is the meaning of this? I'm sorry. I was knocking. I didn't hear a response, so I came in. You were knocking and I didn't say come in. I'm sorry about that. But what's wrong? Did I do something wrong? Why are you making this house so hot for me? Why would the house be so hot for you? And eh? what would it? Please go back there and continue with your romantic course. Please. I beg your pardon? Leave me alone. What's that noise? Don't go. You are guy inspector. I'm not begging you to buy a book from me. Oh. What I'm asking you is the last one you bought on credit. That's all. What is the meaning of that? Eh? This woman, I have warned you never to step your feet on this gate. I have warned you never to cross this boundary, this jurisdiction. Listen to me. Anytime I find you here, I will arrest you and I will charge you for trespassing and constructive intention to commit arson. So you think that they fear you, eh? You think that they fear you with your eyes? See, eh? If you don't pay me, eh? I will go straight to that house now and report to your madam. Listen, and that woman amounts to liberal, character assassination, and destructive intention. I will arrest you before you get to my madam. Oh, yes. And I go tell you, say, eh? Any animal will not get there. Eh? Now, God, they dry fly come up for you. Are you challenging the office of the law? <laughs> Are you challenging the office of the law? No. Are you challenging the office of the law? Mr. General. God. Just, just look at me. What is the problem? I heard you screaming from inside. Look at this bloody civilian. This woman. Imagine a woman I'm trying to patronize. Peddling unregistered medicine. You better you buy my money or make her they go. I don't know what they talk. They are the speed BB grandma. She's here to mess herself up. Imagine. Madam, what's the problem? See this man, oh. I sell our boat to this man, so pay me now, Allah. Eh? Pay me my money, make her they go. My friend, will you keep quiet? How much is he owing you? Oh, God. Common thing, no, no Come on, do, you, do you know how much I, I, I spent? Do you know how much I spent in Gaza? There you go. This is a thousand five hundred. You can keep the change. Thank you, sweet man. What did you say? Sweet Thank man. You, sweet man. Sweet man. Cordelia, sweet man. So I am not sweet. You bitter leave. I am not sweet. Cornelia, I will charge you for sexual assault. Sweet, yeah. I will charge you, you for sexual you assault. Yeah. Look at you. And you. you sweet man. Come on, come you are... this gate, you are... You, uh, 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 you. Hey, sweet man, and you are happy. Sweet man, your sister in India. My father didn't get inside. Bloody civilian. Look at them. They are... Bring the church. Cornelia! Bring my change, Cornelia. No problem. That change, I will use it and drink and go for the rest of this year. For the rest of this year, I will drink your go on that change. See, I go, see change. Thank you for eating my food, ma. No. I should be the one thanking you for the delicious meal. Thank you. You're welcome. Ma, please, I would like to beg for a favor. Okay. Um... I want to go out tomorrow. I'd like to take a walk and, uh, you know, just look around. I'm tired of staying indoors. It's beginning to affect my mental health. But you told me you are a novice in this city. Where do you know you're going? Um, nowhere in particular, but I'm just tired of staying indoors and my mental health is beginning to get affected. I just wanted to take a stroll and, you know, go out, look around, meet a few people and ask questions. And I promise not to get missing. I'll come back. Okay. Let it not be that I'm keeping you hostage. You're free to go. Oh, well, please. Make sure you return before lunchtime tomorrow. No problem. I will.
Ma, sorry, sorry. Um, I wanted to remind you about the job we discussed. I'm on it. No problem. Thank you, Ma. Hi, Joy. Yeah. So I have her permission to go out, but I must be back before lunchtime. Yes. Listen, I'm still under her care, so I have to give her that respect. Joy, until you come into the picture, I must continue to play by her rules. Okay, I will call you for direction and venue, all right? All right, no problems. Thank you. All right. Inspector Charles, I can see you are getting along with Mr. Chris. Yes, my superior. According to your previous instruction, no corporal punishment, no quarrels, just getting along. Good. So, what is your assessment of him? The guy is good. He's law abiding, he's intelligent, and most important, he is trustworthy. Hmm. See, within a short period of his stay in this house, you have actually assessed him well. My superior officer, my superior, do not forget that I am a trained officer of the law. So, why did he tell you he will be going today? He never mentioned that. Are you serious? I'm very serious. Okay. Chris, I won't dispute the fact. My friend was the one who played the major role in saving your life. But would you rather remain a servant all your life? Joy, I want to know you know the reason I am in this situation, don't you? I do. And do you want to remain like that? God forbid. Then do something. Do something. There is an English proverb that says, a man should not be bothered. Joy, Joy, listen to me. We've been talking for over 10 minutes. You haven't said anything. Why did you call me out here? What do you want? Can you just put me through? Because I don't understand what you're up to. Chris, I know I've made my intentions clear to you. I love you, Chris. Can't you see? Just take a look at, look into my eyes and tell me you don't see it. Joy, 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 listen, listen to me. I understand how you feel. I respect your feelings. You love me, I get it. You care about me, I understand. But the truth is, I am with your friend. I'm still under her service. Do you understand me? So you need to, you know, trade cautiously. I know. I'm only trying to save you from Lizzie's imprisonment. Can't you see you're on the whole stage? Okay. You need to be in you know one. I have, I have curfew. I need to give them, you know, I, I give them a time to come back, so I have to go back home. You know what? Um, I know you've not had ice cream in a long while, so let me get you one. So you think ice cream is my problem now? Listen, I need to go. I have let to me go. get Listen, you I, one. I go, just enter the car. <laughs> I'm off to work. Be in charge. Security is double assured. Any trespass shall attract accidental discharge. Inspector Charles, I have sounded it as a warning to you. Do not shoot anyone. Or you will go in for it, despite my position. Oh, that's correct. But can I arrest and prosecute for loitering? You are not new in this job. Meanwhile, I told Chris to return before lunchtime. 
put an eye on him. Yes, ma'am. Remember, no corporal punishment or harassment. Did you get that? Yes, ma'am. Fine. Open the door. Chris, darling. Um, as I was saying, I saw great potentials in you. So I decided to make you my man. The man of my dream. Do you mean I have potentials? Of course. No, I don't think so. I'm an empty man. Oh. Don't ever condemn yourself. An empty man with no future. Don't say that. You're not empty. Whatever a man says, so he is. Don't ever condemn yourself. <laughs> Listen, I owe Lizzie a lot of gratitude because she saved my life. Hmm. Yes, but you should also understand that Lizzie saved your life. That was exactly how God wants it. She was there at that scene because God wanted to use her to fulfill a purpose. He can even use anyone. So God could have used you? Of course. Well, I have to be thankful to her. Being thankful does not mean... You should be a slave to her. Well, I'm not a slave. <laughs> Please, I know. Let me feed you. I have mine. Let me feed you. No, thank you. Chris, please. I have mine. Let me just feed you. you see? Mm. Mm. Oh. Listen, woman. Can you tell me? The reason why you open this gate and come inside? Uh-uh. Oh, guys, please. Asami! What are you doing here? Are we quarreling? Yes, we are quarreling. Ha what are you doing here? I'm here to see if you will patronize me. I will not patronize you. What? Oh, yes. I will never patronize you. Listen, let me tell you. Coming into this place is an offense. And I will charge you for breaking and entry. Oh, okay. Listen to me. I will never patronize you peddling this spoiled and outdated medicine. I cannot, since you cannot marry officer of the law, I will not patronize your spoiled drugs, illegal drugs. Now, get out from here. Oh, you see, officer, you know, say my abuna authentic. My friend, will you get out? Get out, get out, get out. Yeah. Get out. If not, your boy, 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 your Mr. Chris, you know I told you to relax and enjoy my superior's kindness. As a servant, all you need to do is to be humble. Be humble. That's all you need. Officer in charge, hmm. something tells me you're nice to me because I gave you food to eat. If not, you'd have charged me for trespass or something. Listen, my friend. A hungry man is an angry man. Is that as if I could not go to get this food myself? Oh, yes. But I cannot leave this gate for security purposes. Excuse me. Are you trying to say I cannot watch the gate in your absence? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chris, Mr. Chris. Have you been to the war front? No, I'm coming. Have you been to the war front? Can you withstand the sound of a rifle in Gaza? When you hear to, ta, to, the sound of missile, pew, tum. Let me even ask you, can you withstand this gate? If the enemy is invaded, can you protect my superior? 
Can you? Will they come in your absence? Or will someone give them an information that you went to buy food? You see, my boy, there's something my commandant told me back then in Gaza about intelligence. Remind me, I'll teach you about it. You're doing well. You're doing wonderfully well. <laughs> if not, I would have charged you for misconduct and mismanagement of fund. <laughs> You're doing well. <laughs> My boy. <laughs> My boy. So, what uh, juice? What of the juice? My boy, <laughs> you're doing well. <laughs> oh, oh, welcome. Thank you, Chris. Welcome, everyone. Thank you. Hi. I'm fine. And how was your sightseeing today? Um, it was fantastic. I was able to take a walk around town. Uh, I saw some of the high-rise buildings and uh, infrastructure. Trust me, it's a beautiful city. Oh. Okay. Um, did you by any means run into my friend, Joy? Process. No, no, I didn't. Okay, I was asking because she just returned to the office a few minutes before I left. I was thinking maybe. Not at all. I didn't see her today. Okay. My food is ready. What do you want so I can quickly make it? Chris. Mom? We had an agreement that you'll be making bitter leaf soup and guy. I'm, I'm sorry, I totally forgot that I haven't made it. But I can do that right now. Um, just give me a second. My dinner is ready. It's late to eat. I can make you something very light, if that's what you want. I'm not interested. You can leave that till tomorrow morning. Chris. It's quite unlike you, making dinner at this time of the night. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. I hope it doesn't. Because if it does, I won't be happy. Sorry, ma, what about the job we talked about? I'm working on it. Ma, how long is it going to take? I'm tired. I can't keep staying in this house doing nothing. Cooking from morning to night and eating food. I didn't come to the world to eat food. I want to walk. I'm sensing agitation on Chris's voice. Could it be possible he went to see someone who must have spoken to him? Oh, could it be a coincidence that Joy reported very late to the office today and Chris returned home from the side scene Late. And now he's preparing dinner very late. Unlike him. Lizzie. Lizzie, think. Shama. Inspector Charles. Do you remember you took an oath of allegiance when you were posted to my house by the commissioner of police to be my orderly? 
Yes, ma. And I have been maintaining the context of the oath with all my might. Ma. Now tell me, who are Chris's friends? Ma, I, I'm not aware of his friends. Maybe he has a date outside, but as far as this compound is concerned, I don't know any. Inspector Charles, you are the officer in charge of my house, right? Yes, ma. How often do you allow him out when I'm not around? Never, ma. Chris has always been with me anytime you're out. Ma! Are you sure? Yes, ma. Remember, I promise never to lie to you. Ma! If Chris has no friends or anyone visiting him, how many times has he complained to you about feeling tired of being idle? Maybe he's intending to complain to me. But now, I'm not aware of that. Ma! Okay. You may go now. But, do not mention any of our discussions to him again. And always, remember to keep an eye on him. Am I clear? Consider your instruction maintained. Ma! Permission to fall out. Permission granted. Why do you find it difficult to forgive an offense? I'm trying to understand you. Come on. Quit this pretense, Chris. I know you're angry with me. Mm -hmm. I know. Miss Lizzie, you're my boss. And I don't think I have the right to get angry at you. You know, you are very wise than I thought. And you are being more logical too. But I know that you are angry with me. Miss Lizzie, I owe you a lot of gratitude for all you have done for me. And I'll keep saying thank you to you because you're a good person and you have a good heart. However, I need to search for a job. I need to go out and look for a job. I need to earn like every other young man out there. Chris. Chris. I, I, I so much love your ambitious nature, no doubt. But I told you to exercise some patience with me. Let me get you something befitting. It's a job. For how long do I wait? For how long would that be? I'm not complaining. I have all it takes to take care of you forever, like for life. So it's not a problem. So that means... I have to depend on you for life to take care of me. I mean, that's very kind of you. But I don't think it is appropriate. I have to work hard. I also have to support you and establish myself, too. Okay. And can you give me at least until the end of the month? To get you something befitting, something good, something big. Hmm? 
That's fine. Take your time. I can wait for you to get me something big. But before the big one comes, I have to start small. I'll go out there, search for a job. I don't care, even if it's a menial job. I don't mind. I'll do it as long as I earn money every day. Then I'm fine. Chris, go and serve our breakfast. Thank you. Hello? Hello, Chris, darling. How are you? Good morning. How was your night? <laughs> I'm fine. And how was your night? Oh, that's great. But that sounds very sweet. But let me ask you a question. Isn't it too early to make such remarks? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean by it's too early? Come on, Chris. Can't you see? You mean so much to me. I love you so, so much. Like so, so much. I can't even stop thinking about you. Okay, I must commend your good heart and um, how much you care about me. But then we need to slow down, okay? I want you to always remember your friend and uh, have it at the back of your mind that we shouldn't cause any trouble. What? Lizzie? Stop it. Don't you know to you, Lizzie, you're nothing but a common maid. A common maid. Well, you heard what I said. I said I know you care about me and you're a very sweet person, so... But let's be careful. All right. Do have a great day. Just know someone loves you so much. Mm-hmm. Sorry, ma, you forgot your key. Your car key. Ma, are you going to work? You're not talking to me. Chris, or whatever they call you. Do I owe you an explanation? I'm asking you. The day you saw and agreed with the person that she was telling you how much she loves you on the phone. Did you tell me? I don't understand what you mean. You are very mad to stand before me pretending as if you know what I'm talking about. Something is wrong with you. Nonsense. Get the gate instead of this thing. I want to warn you for the very last time. Be mindful the way you go about my superior officer. Remember she is a policewoman. Um, sir. Did she tell you I did something wrong? Because I can't remember doing anything to her. Oh, my friend. Tell me that. From the report and what she's saying concerning you, it means you're making her unhappy. Unhappy? Yes. I'm officer in charge. Can you kindly tell me um, some of the conversation you had with her. I don't get it. 
So I should release the information I had with my superior officer I, I, to you? Sir, I, I did not force you. I just pleaded with you to tell me. Listen, you bloody civilian. Listen to me and listen very good. Be very careful. Because if she order me to arrest you, I will not mind how close we are. I will send you straight to the guardroom and charge you for conspiracy. Conspiracy? Oh, yes. Now, run off. Move. Hop, 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 hop. Lazy, bloody civilian. Move on. Mr. Chris, I can see that arrogance has eaten deep into you. So if I don't ask for my food, you cannot bring it. Sir, it is not arrogance. The truth is, I have been preoccupied and I'm totally confused because my... It is better you are confused. It is better you are, you are, you are soaked into confusion than incur the wrath of my senior officer. Oh yes. Uh, but officer in charge, that is actually the genesis of my worry. And I wish this trouble can pass over me. My friend, will you go inside and get my food before I charge you for negligence to duty? An attempted murder. Attempted murder? Oh, yes! <sighs> Officer in charge, go to your duty post. I'll bring your food there. What? Mr. Chris! Sir? How dare you? How dare you order an officer of law? Who, what gave you the temerity, the audacity, the infantry to order the officer of the law? Do you know that I am a member of the 33 Battalion Squad? Were you there when I fought the Boko Haram? Were you there when I single-handedly rescued the Chippewa girls? Where were you? Were you there when the president awarded me as the best sniper in 1999 by Chief Olusegun Obosanjo? Were you there? Were you born? Now listen to me and listen very carefully. Before I Wesley snipe your leg right now, run into the kitchen and bring my food. Yes, sir. Hop, 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 you can't believe what happened. Tina couldn't stand his sight. I had to run out of my house out of anger. Lizzie, you can't cease to amaze me. But why would you get angry by seeing your house help? Having a conversation with a lady over the phone. I don't know what is wrong with me. I can't say it. That was a strange feeling of jealousy. But the feeling wanted to shock me to death. To run. I mean, I abandoned breakfast. Ah. Honestly, Lizzie, I, I, I don't get it. But why would you be jealous? Because you saw your servant having a conversation with a woman? Why? Please, Joy. I need you to talk to me. Maybe advise me on something. I really want to know what is wrong with me. Is it possible that I'm falling in love with this guy? Logini. Logini. Love. Lizzie. Do Reverend Sisters fall in love? See, if I will advise you as my friend, earlier the better you send that boy back in. Yes! You mean I should send him out of my house? Yes! That's the, that's the good thing to do. You have to send him out. Why would somebody be in your house and make you uncomfortable? 
Does it make sense? Send him back in. PP, you want to have hypertension? Ha! I don't know, Dale. I think that is what I should do. Exactly. That's what you should do. Just pull yourself together. Let's go back to the office. Hmm? Where are you, Chris? Do you know you are heartless and wicked? So after all I did for you, the only thing you can pay me back with is heartbreak? I beg your pardon, how did I do that? I have a serious problem with you. That's that you pretend a lot! Chris, in my own house, you, you are talking to another, another lady in my house? You think I didn't hear all your conversations? I was listening to you from somewhere! What is wrong with you? I'm sorry, I, I, didn't, I didn't know you were eavesdropping. This just confirmed that you are a cheap cheat. You have been cheating on me at my back, Chris. Cheating on you? What do you mean? I hate you! I hate you! <sighs> Sorry, do, do you... Just leave me alone! Just let me be. Leave. Well, I, I think you need to check. I, I, I just, just, just hate you! Get out! Get out! Get out! You. Get out of my sight! You, you need to look at the dictionary. To... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Officer in charge, I need to go out. Mr. Chris. Yes? Can you tell me where you're going to? And is my superior aware that you're leaving this premises? Of course she's aware. Why? Oh, well, she asked me to be sure where you're going to and the reason why you're leaving this premises. Why would she ask such question? Am I under arrest? House arrest or something? Mr. Chris. Yes? Call her on phone. Tell her to call me. And even if I decide to give you exit, I need to know the reason of your exit. Where you're going to, who you're going to meet, and most importantly, you need to give me an estimated time of your arrival. Copy it. Um, officer in charge, are you trying to embarrass me? Are you trying to embarrass me? Mr. Chris, if you say any more thing, I will charge you for noise pollution. Lock the signal. The security man didn't let me come out. Why? He said he's working under instructions. Um, anyway, get in, let's go. I'm sorry, I can't go with you. I, I told them I'm coming back in, in a few minutes. Chris, Lizzie is getting jealous over us. She overheard our conversation. Joy, please. Why are you making this look like a competition between you and her? Yes, it is a competition. 
Everybody loves Chris. When are you moving in with me? I'm sorry, I can't do that. Chris? Listen, stop. You need to stop. I don't want any more trouble, please. All right? I told them I'll be back shortly, so I can't go with you. I can only be your peace and not your trouble. Excuse me. Kitty, let's go. Stop it. I'm not going. Please. Chris? Chris! Okay. Hello. I hope you had lunch. The one I made before going to the supermarket. I'm not feeling hungry. And why is that? Why are you not hungry? And don't tell me you've been starving yourself all day. Hello? What happened? Something wrong? Is something wrong? <sighs> okay. So I don't know what the problem is, but... I want you to know that I'm still very loyal to you. And the type of relationship I share with you is more or less like that of a boss and a servant type of relationship. So I feel like if something is wrong with you, you shouldn't hesitate to tell me. Hello? Did something happen? I'm indeed very surprised and astonished. You have been a virgin all this while. Thank you. Thank you for making me a woman. Henceforth, I'll be calling you my heart, sweetheart. And henceforth, my impression about you changes because you are special and a rare jam. Promise me you won't be calling that lady again. Oh, come on now. I promise I won't call her again. Thank you. You will be spending the night with me tonight here and always. If that's going to make you happy, I will. Yeah. Yeah. This life, the things happen for a reason. Just as the clock is ticking, per seconds in a daily, events unfolding, pushing us through a life goal. Good morning, Ma. Good morning, Inspector Charles. How are you? Well, I'm nice. Though, as an agile officer, I didn't sleep at night. That is fine. And is expected. Good morning, officer. Mr. Chris. Yes, yes. How dare you? What? How dare you, bloody civilian? Why would you allow a senior police chief to join you in washing the car? Mr. Charles. Ma. How dare you call my love a bloody civilian? Now, 
Let today be the last day you will address him as a bloody civilian. Yes, ma. Henceforth, accord him every respect that you should accord my husband. Am I understood? Yes, ma. Oh, good. In different ways. Mr. Chris. Yes. Accept my apologies. Some made love on their thorny part. Some on their rosy part. But what matters is how true the love is. But it doesn't matter what the world throws at you. Hmm. Lizzie, I would rather die than to marry a police officer. That's never in my plans. Never. Joy. Is that why you've been refusing all the police tutors coming for your hand in marriage? I don't understand you, Lizzie. Are you not my senior colleague? No, 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 no. Are you not a senior police officer? So what stops you from marrying an officer like you? Mine is different. Yes, I told you. My father warned me against it before he died. Oh, I see. So I am the heroine. My father did not warn me. It's your father that warned you. I don't blame you. Please call your maid to go and bring me something to drink. I'm, I'm really very hot. I will get you something to drink myself. And please, henceforth, do not refer to Chris as my maid or servant. Okay? Let me get you something to drink myself. Lizzie! Mm -hmm. oh, uh, what? 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 You, you didn't tell me you believe him of all his duties. I will get you something to drink. Myself. All right. Excuse me. Okay. John, sir! Permission to stand at ease, sir! Officer in charge, do you think it is appropriate to salute a bloody civilian? An individual who is not a security agent? Do I deserve your salute? By the orders of my superior officer, I shall forever remain loyal and respectful to you. I don't want to lose my job. So! Wow. Wow. Officer in charge, that is highly commendable. But I want you to know that I am still that Chris, that humble Chris you have always known. And nothing has changed between us. There is a serious reverse to the rules, sir. And you are my boss. And I am your security, sir. Wow. Again, that's highly commendable. But I want you to know that as far as I'm concerned, we're going to be friends for life. So enough of the Salute. Yes, sir. Contrary to your ins insinuations, there is a reverse to the rules. Sir! You know what? what? During parade, as soon as the squad leader shouts about stone, the people in front becomes last in the queue. You are my boss. And I am your security. So. Well, officer in charge, I totally understand you, but I want to assure you that as far as I'm concerned, we're still going to be friends for life. Yes, sir. Apologies. I have a question, sir. What is your question? How did the twist happen, sir? 
What twist are you talking about? Don't forget, I apologize before asking this question. So, how did you penetrate the heart of my superior officer? So, Inspector. Yes, sir. Are you out of your mind? No, sir. What stupid question is that? Huh? Listen to me. Do you know false accusation is a punishable offense under the Criminal Code of Justice? Are you aware? I'm, I'm supposed to be telling you that, sir. What? Officer in charge, I will charge you for conspiracy. I will also charge you for false accusation and misconduct. Now march back to your duty post. Temper Justin! Temper mercy with your... Temper justice with mercy! So! <laughs> Stop what? I've told you to stop doing this, please. It's my duty to do it, so stop. Oh, come please. on now. Listen, I'm already used to doing the house chores. Come on. I, I need to do it. Honey, but I said no. I want to help you do it. There's nothing wrong with me doing it. Why are you so stubborn? Stop doing these things. I should do them now. They are my duty to be done. Listen to me. I want to do them. I'm used to doing them already. So there's nothing wrong with me doing them. And I said no. Okay, just give me a second. Let me just quickly finish. Honey, you're not going to do this. Why are you like this? Why are you so stubborn? I, listen, okay, I want to just clean the table and that's it. I'm done. I'm almost done. You're not going to clean the table, so let me have it. Why? Because I don't want you to do them anymore. Listen, you've been so caring. You take good care of me. You give me shelter. How else do I pay you back? Huh? Sweetheart, can you... Drop this, giving you shit off a thing. We are together now. Please. <sighs> okay, just give me a second. Let me just... I said no. Okay, now I order you to leave this. Oh, that makes it worse. I'm not going to leave it. Just give me a second. Let me just click. If you love me, leave it. All right, that's fine. Good. Okay. Better. I should be the one to be the Come here, there's something I need to show you. What's this? What's this? I need to show you something. I need to show you something. You are very strong and you want to know what I want to show you. This life, things happen for a reason. Just as the clock is ticking. Per seconds in a day. Events unfolding. Pushing them through a life goes. Sometimes it comes pleasantly. Sometimes it comes with ups and downs. Hitches and hardos. But in all, all you got to do is love me and enjoy the ride while it lasts. Be positive. Joy! Welcome, Joy. Hi. You're welcome. Lizzie. Yes, darling. Chris. Hi. Una wedono. Thank you. Please make yourself comfortable, my darling. Ah, ah. Are you doing trouble for the weekend as usual? <sighs> my darling. Yes, darling. I was actually tired. Oh. So I decided to stay back. Why you continue from where I stopped? <laughs> I'm sorry, please. What can I offer you? Uh, you want water, spirit, soft drinks, whatever. Make your choice. Nothing. Nothing? Why? That is all like you because I know you very well. You like taking brandy early morning on Saturday. I'm not in the mood. Excuse me. 
Ah, okay, okay, darling. Lizzie, what? Come. What's the meaning of this? The meaning of what? I don't understand. Are you trying to bring yourself down to his level? Oh. You mean you're cleaning the house with your maid? Oh, that. Uh -huh. <laughs> I just decided to help you with the house chores since I'm around today. Besides, I no longer want to take his humility for granted. Mm -hmm. Come. What is it? Lizzie, sit. What is it? Lizzie. What? Tell me. You're becoming so soft with this guy. But <laughs> is there something you're not telling me? <laughs> something like what? Ah. Lizzie, are you are you developing feelings for this guy? Ah. Joy, my darling. Yes. I think that decision should be at my own personal discretion. Huh? Really? Yes. What are friends for? Whatever secret you tell me wouldn't be public. So stop. Uh, Joy, Joy, how is your mom doing? That is not what I'm asking you. What are you asking? My mom is fine. Good. I am asking you. Are Joy, you, are you can you just? Can, what, 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 what do you want to drink? Let me offer you, please. Just give me a minute. I'll get you something. Oh. Mm. Coco. Like this particular agu is original. Compared to the ones they have been giving to me here, you know, since we had issues, these people have been supplying me with fake, fake abo. The abo that you can drink and your face will still remain the same. It is good you try other ones. Because our elder says that a cow never values his tail until it loses it. Cordelia, mm -hmm. I did not introduce this discussion for you to arrogate your self-ego. After all, your abo is yet to be registered with NAVDAC. I can still charge you for illegal drugs. Oh, police, forget this, your regular arrest threat. Let's discuss something important. Um, where is that your Madame Handsome servant? Eh? That fine man now. Kode, now I know that you're a prophetess. Says who? And what makes me a prophetess? Do you know that Chris is now my superior's lover? Hey, did I not say it? That that guy is too handsome to be a servant. Hey. And that's why I say you are a prophetess. Kodi, my love, accept to marry me so that you can be prophesying to me. Oga police. If you have finished drinking, pay me, let me go. What do you mean by that? Cordelia, what is the meaning of that? Do you know I can charge you for illegal extortion? What is the meaning of that? Oh, you, 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 want, you want to see this? Bring what? My friend, will you get that from here? Again? Spill this mind, they find me. That's the way you go, okay? You go get that from me. Lord, this civilian. Lizzie. What? Wait. Tell me it's not what I am suspecting. And what are you suspecting if I may ask, Joy? Is Chris still your humble servant, like you always say? Or has he gone beyond that? <laughs> and if I tell you that it has gone beyond that, do you have a problem with Of that? course! I have a problem with it. That is the only when I will know that you're nothing but a betrayer. Yes, you're a snitch. Very corny. You're a corny human being. And you're someone I should never associate with. Because you're very envious. Joy, why, sh why, should, you, why should you assume such a thing about me? My dear Lizzie, you made it clear that Chris was nothing but a common mate to you. So now, all of a sudden, he's going beyond that. Say that to me. Yes. Well accepted. I said that to you. And if I decide to change my mind, 
Do I own anybody any explanation? Yes, you owe me every explanation. Because I was the first person that made my intention known to you first about Chris. Oh, um, Joy, if I should say that you are being greedy right now, uh, would that mean an insult to you? Because from what I am seeing, you are trying to reap from where you did not sow. And where exactly do you think you sown? Because Chris was already a grown-up man, handsome, full of life, before you met him at the incident that happened. And you brought him to your house, which every other person can do. So don't even take all the credit and feel like you're one virgin Maria, Ave Maria. Don't do that with me. Don't even try it. I see. I think I should understand what is wrong with you right now. Hmm. Because you are sweating, you are ranting, you are you, you are you're trying to blow off because you think he is now for me. <laughs> Joy, I think at this point of this your new character, you have overstayed your welcome <laughs> in my house. Please. Listen. Let me warn you. Let me warn you. Listen, if I Joy does not have Chris. You will never have Chris. Come on, run I promise you. I swear. I, I, do, I will make sure I do everything and I will use the last blood in me to fight you. It's not a shot. I will throw you out of my house. Don't be shot. 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 What are you betters? You stepped into my house to talk about bitch? Are you mad? Ha! Hey, why are you raising your voice? Chris. Yeah. Now tell me. What is going on between you and Joy? Did she tell you there's something between us? Chris! If you do not want me to go in there, pick up my pistol, blow the head and blow my well. Start talking. What is going on between you and that lady? There's nothing between us. Although she once complimented my looks and said she likes me, that's it. And you refuse to tell me. Because you enjoy shitting on me. What a betrayal, Chris! What? Oh. I've never betrayed you. I don't intend to start today. Like I said, she complimented my looks and told me uh, she likes me. You spare me! Those your belated explanation and talk to me. Who is the other girl you'll be talking to on the phone? There's no other girl. It's been Joy all along. It's been who? Joy. How do you lie to me, you son of a bitch? <gasps> Inspector! Inspector Charles! Yes, ma'am! Henceforth, I am banning Joy from entering this compound. I don't want to see her anywhere around my vicinity for any reason or whatsoever. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am! Should I arrest her if she resists to comply? Arrest! Disgrace! Do whatever you can do to her. I will cover you with my position. Noted, ma! Yes. Who is she to make my superior angry? Bloody Sylvia! I understand how you feel. But I want you to know that I never meant to hurt you.
I'm sorry for lying. I actually did that on purpose. Because I cared about your feelings and I didn't want to cause a fight between you and your friend. Please. Forgive me. Thank you. You encouraged her to win you over. Not entirely. Your friend, she was very stubborn. She is a stubborn woman. She was going to do everything to have me. But I treat it very cautiously because I have, I have so much respect for you. Besides, you have never shown any interest or you have never given me a signal that you like me. I'm sorry I'm late. But the truth is that I am secretly in love with you. Yes. My ego took the better part of me. Sorry, I hate you. This life, the things happen for a reason, just as the clock is ticking per seconds of a day. As I was saying, Inspector Charles, henceforth, the narratives will have to change. My love here will no longer serve your meal. I will be giving you money to do that. Is that clear? Yes, Ma! Good. Subsequently, you will have to accord him the respect and all the privileges that he deserves as my husband. If you have a problem with that, I can tell the Commissioner of Police to withdraw you and send someone else as my godly. Do you have a problem with that? Madam, may I reaffirm that all you have said is correct. There will be no problem, countermotion or catastrophe. I will empty to your rules. Yes, ma. Good. Sweetheart, do you have anything to say? Um, not really. But the inspector is a great guy, and um, I'd like to plead on his behalf. Kindly accept him to be a part of our family. I'm very certain that he would continue to discharge his duties effectively. Sure, I will. Sure! 
Good. That means we are still on the same page, Inspector Charles. But if you think otherwise, you can always report to me. Is that clear? Yes, ma! Good. You may retire back to your duty post now, Inspector Charles. Thank you, ma! Inspector, sir. Aren't you charging me to court for any criminal offense? No, sir! Your freedom has been approved. You are hereby discharged and acquitted. Yes, sir! Sorry. So much. <laughs> Such a funny man, right? Yeah, he is. Very funny. Okay, sweetheart. Um, we'll be going to the office together. Oh, really? So, yeah, so we need to go and get prepared. Well, in that case, I have to quickly make breakfast. For what? Should what? Why should you be the one to make breakfast for me? Come on. Go and take a breath. Before you're done, the breakfast will be ready. Okay, I will. I love you. Love you. <laughs> What a corny bitch. That is exactly who you are. How dare you separate me from my man, the man of my dream, my crush. Hmm. <laughs> I'm moving your dream like you just said. Because I don't get it. How is Chris your man? Were you the one who rescued him from the accident scene? Mm. Or are you the one taking care of him all this while? It doesn't matter. The same way you rescued him is the same way God would have carried me to that place to rescue him. So stop feeling like the Almighty. You're nuts. Did you hear me? You're nuts. Joy, please don't force me to use my position, my official position on you because you're becoming very rude right now. Now lead my lips. Lizzie, to hell with you and that your stupid position. Every time position, position, position. No, come let's do it woman to woman now. Mabia, nigga, should I give you one blow, seven apples? Like a are you stupid? See, don't dare me. If you try me, Lizzie, I will crush you. You're becoming mad. It's you that is mad. It's, it's written all over you. Something is wrong with you. You're the mad woman. You're the. No, no, no. You don't want to be a reverend sister, why? You don't want to be a reverend sister. That's how you be pretending. Monkey shadow, you be hiding, sneaking. My man, I will fight you with everything in me. I will fight you. Fool! No labor! I will jam you. One piece! Stay there! I will bash you! <laughs> Fool! Officer in charge, why are you stopping me from helping you with the laundry? Uh, Mr. Chris. Yes? Do you want to help me? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Listen to me, Mr. Chris. If Madame, I mean my superior boss, finds out that you as much as touch these clothes in the name of your doing laundry, I will face the consequences of the law. I will be court martialed and sacked from the Nigerian police force. Unless you have a new job for me. Let me just help you with the t-shirt. Mr. I will charge you for stubbornness. Remember when I was a soldier. I remember. with you? Madam Joy, I was instructed by my superior never to open the gates for you. Oh, I see. 
And do you know I can report you to the headquarters for insulting a senior officer while you are on duty? Yes, I know. You know. But the rational thing you should do is to call my superior. If she approves it, I let you in. I see. Oh, thank God. Chris is here. <laughs> Hi, Chris. Can you imagine? Inspector refused me driving in. Well, I'm sorry for the embarrassment, but I think he's working under instructions. Yeah. But why should such instruction be passed against me? I suggest you call Lizzie. She gave the order. I see. Anyway, that's by the way. Chris. Chris. I'm here to see you. Y you know we have an unfinished business. You don't have to touch me. Listen, I have to tell you the truth. It was nice knowing you, okay? But let's call it spade a spade. Lizzie and I are friends. We're not just friends. She, she's a great person. She took care of me. She saved my life. She gave me shelter. And I don't want to do anything to hurt her. I understand how you feel, but please, you should call her and sort things out with her. I don't want any troubles, please. Chris, but I was the first person who showed interest in dating you. So why all of a sudden she's all over you? Listen, I understand, but there's nothing anyone can do. I suggest you call her and sort things out with her, okay? I don't know how to thank you for your kindness towards me. You are a good woman. You have a good heart. I've learned a lot from you. You came into my life and made me understand that people are different from other people. I owe you. And sometimes I don't know how to pay you back for all you have done for me. This is me appreciating you for giving me the job. I've gotten it and the pay is really good. Thank you so much. Honestly, if you give me the chance, I'll propose to you, make you my wife and the mother of my children. But you have to say yes first. Are you joking? I'm not joking. I can't joke with my emotions. You see, I love you and I know I have been through so much in my life, but you came into my life and made everything easy. I'm attracted to your kind heart and I want to tell you that I love you and if you give me the chance to be your husband, I promise to be your husband. I promise to be your best friend and I promise never to hurt you. First of all, I wish you can stop appreciating me for everything I did for you. I love you. I wish to be your wife. A humble one to you. Mother to your unborn children. I 
want to say yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This life, the things happen for a reason. Just as the clock is ticking, per seconds in a daily, events unfolding, pushing us through a life goal. You know, I consider the day of the accident a blessed one. If not for the accident, I wouldn't have met you. And I'm indebted to joy. Who opened my eyes to see the best in you? I'm thinking she'll be our she breastmaid. You think that's a good idea? Yes, I think so because if not for her, I wouldn't have discovered you. That's great. You talked about traveling. Yes. Our traveling documents are ready and all arrangements made. We are leaving this country in two days. That's impressive. Yeah. This life, Thank you for everything. The things happen for a reason. Just as the clock is ticking, we're sick of the daily events unfolding. Pushing us through a life goes Sometimes it comes pleasantly Sometimes it comes with ups and downs Hitches and puddles But in all, all you got to do Love me and enjoy the ride while it lasts Be positive It's easy.